Welcome, welcome to Target Block TV. My name is Simon, and with me today, I have uh, Shiresh. Welcome, Shiresh, from Sydney City Space Lux. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Whatever is relevant for you, choose one. <laughs> Thank you. It's good morning to me, uh, at least. And uh, what's, what's, what's the time in Australia by now? Uh, it's half past four in the afternoon, so good afternoon is good for me. Might be a, a good night if you're in the, in the States there, or maybe even a good evening in New Zealand. Awesome. Let's see, the players are already starting, so I will start a timer. And let's see, what have we got today? We have got the fourth game being played between Sweden and Australia. We got Michael Connor on the Australian side of the board and we got Mikael Lundberg on the Swedish side of the board. So Suresh, shall we just get started? And would you like to read out Michael's list for us? Yeah, let's just dive straight into it as he starts moving his ships. So left to right, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Eater 2 Actus with Patience Marksmanship Auto Blasters and R7A7. So a couple of options with Obi-Wan. You can play him a bit cagey, use Patience heavily, keep your force up, and then if you get the chance, you're throwing down Auto Blasters with Marksmanship and R7A7 to get those crits they can't stop. Next up, we have little Anakin Skywalker in the Naboo N1 Starfighter with Intimidation, Passive Sensors, and Advanced Proton Torpedoes. I'd say he's in there for a block, but maybe not against the uh, resistance list you're about to read out to me, uh, but he's got those Advanced Protons for a little bit of punch there. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we've got two Delta, uh, sorry, one Delta 7B, that's Luminara with Calibrated Laser Targeting, really for those defensive mods. And lastly, broadside ion cannon turret and ion bombs for a little bit of a control effect it'd be interesting to see in this match how that actually plays out against the uh resistance t70s here over to you simon for the resistance oh yeah and this is pretty darn easy to be honest it's uh <laughs> four red squadron experts uh, equipped with r4 astromech for some uh blue maneuvers and we also have pattern analyzer and s -Fos. They are all in uh, pilot skill three. And let's see, we have uh, Swedish Mikkel uh, got the initiative here. So he's moving first with all of his ships. Yep, just the one overlap there with the uh, BTLB Y-Wing, that's broadside. Mm. Uh, you've got Luminara, Lil Annie, and also Obi-Wan at higher, higher initiative. So they'll be moving last anyway. So let's see, we have, we have uh, three gas clouds and three uh, asteroids with us today. I think, let's see who brought what. I'm gonna open up this. Now, we've got here is just the two players circling the size of the board with Obi-Wan just hanging back on our, that's Michael's uh, side there. <laughs> um, I'm wondering whether whether the resistance is going to want to get into these asteroids here. Now, T-70s are no slouches by any means. The, uh, the dial is pretty reasonable, so he should have no problems individually navigating through the asteroids. It's whether he can get the formation as a whole uh, through there is is what we're going to have to see, because this this resistance list I suspect is most powerful when you can actually mass these shots. Yes, indeed. We saw uh, Michael, uh, a Swedish Michael. Let's let's call him that. Uh, play William Haywood in the last XCC game against uh, USA and um, unfortunately he didn't go all the way but uh, he is quite skilled with these uh, T7 X wings yeah we saw Michael take the loss last week there 
uh, against the uh, double resistance, sorry, double CIS fire spray squad. Mm. This is a completely different kettle of fish. Uh, he's moving second, so he's got the got the options for the repositions with his uh, N1 and also his Delta 7B, not to mention Obi-Wan. So it's a different, completely different sort of matchup, but the the massed firepower of these T-70s is still a danger uh, to this Galactic Republic list this afternoon. So I I think it's just a little bit cagey at the moment. And I think I've seen that in, in a lot of games where players are just a little bit hesitant to just throw down and, and get there and engaging. Mm. And it seems to me like in a lot of the games, the player who who really gets the first engagement on their own terms, Simon, is going to win. Mm. Yeah, that's a good read. Um, so this is the... Sweden had a, a, a week off last week. So uh, we've been practicing, studying, and uh, will not take no for an answer this week. <laughs> yeah, and Australia needs to climb out of a, a, a zero two hole here at the moment. Uh, we'll see if they can actually claw this one back. Now at the moment, we've got two one Sweden, correct me if I'm wrong. And then you've also got uh, Nobby playing at the moment against uh, Johan. Uh, so this is really match five. And we'll see how we go uh, with regards to the results here. This could be do or die for Team Australia. Let's hope for uh, both players to do well. <laughs> like I always say, Simon, I, I never wish my opponent good luck. I always wish them a good game. Yeah. And... and Swedish Mike has actually flown himself across the board mm -hmm. and he's got a lot of room now to keep this is four X wings in formation. Yeah, I think that might be a good strategy to be honest. Uh, because I mean, even uh, if Anakin is nimble and movable, um, you can't really, I don't see him disengaging going out between the gas clouds. I, I actually hope he does. I, I don't know if he caught the game uh, with Ben Doyle there uh, the other day. I can't remember his opponent's name, I'm sorry, and he did get the win against Ben. But you saw a similar sort of list. You had the Galactic Republic, you know, really efficient list, lots of guns against the First Order Aces list. Yeah. And you saw the two players sort of have to circle the asteroids and, and circle them until one player decided to turn in. Mm. And the critical thing there was the engagement wasn't really through the asteroid. So I think Aussie Mike here might just need to slow down a bit. I'm going to call him Aussie Mike for the rest of the stream. Yeah. <laughs> he might just need to slow down a bit uh, just so he, he makes sure that he's not throwing his ships piecemeal into four X-Wings. Yeah. Let's see. So normally we see you uh, uh, commentating on both uh, Fearless Gundarks and also uh, Sydney City Space Lugs. So yes, can you uh, tell me a little bit about the the, the Space Lugs channel? It's new to me. Uh, so honestly, I've I've been affiliated i don't know what to call it affiliated join them they let me in i shine their shoes uh, with the space lugs for about a week and a half now so um I, I move around a bit for work so i've only just come back to sydney this year but the uh, the guys in the space lugs are primarily uh, tom harper who's on the australian team yeah i i ran into him and i said hey i'm back in sydney let's let's start playing X-Wing again. And you know, the stores that we used to play at, they, they weren't really running any X-Wing. And he was really keen and we, we just showed up, we started playing, had a lot of fun. Uh, the Space Slugs and Tom and, and Cam, Jim and Abby, they're the other four people and I'm very much the junior person. <laughs> I think they set it up just in 2019 and, and Cam's in the chat there and he can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm hoping to, hoping to do some really big things really looking to focus on competitive play 
Uh, but then, of course, COVID, COVID struck. Uh, but now that I'm, I'm back in Sydney, I'm keen. They asked me if I wanted to join. I said yes. They're super keen to jump in on, on, on streaming. It's a lot of fun just being able to sit down, watch a game, no pressure, talk about what's in <laughs> front of you. As we see uh, Aussie Mike here, just start to slow himself down. Yeah. You know, he's turned his, turned his ships in there towards just keeping himself towards the side of the board here, mm -hmm. away from those 4K turning T70s. And yeah, he's turned Anakin away. So he's he's really holding himself on the other side of the, the rocks. And I like that for now. Um, anyway, as, as, as Aussie Mike executes those maneuvers, and I'm sure we'll see a pretty cagey move here from Obi-Wan as well. Uh, it's been really good with, you know, guys who are local to me, playing with them on Tuesday nights at our local store because we're, we're fortunate enough that we can do that, you know, and jumping on and, and starting to stream as well mm -hmm. uh, because it's most fun I've had. And I, I know it's, I think I, I think I started commentating with you. I think it was on Fearless Gundarks. Yeah. Uh, they're a Queensland squad mm -hmm. and Nobby, Nobby is Mr. Fearless Gundark himself. <laughs> um, so grateful to them, of course, uh, for, you know, <laughs> giving me a go on the microphone uh, because I found out that there's almost nothing I like more. Probably the only thing I like more is actually playing X-Wing myself. So <laughs> yeah. uh, the space slugs are, are pretty new when it comes to streaming, uh, but we're really looking to get some, you know, high quality content out there, primarily focusing on, on the competitive side of X-Wing. Mm -hmm. And and what that means at the moment, of course, is of course the uh, the extended format, which is seems to be the popular one at the moment. Yeah, I, I should also mention that I managed uh, I added the the address to the the Space Slugs uh, Twitch channel to the uh, to the show notes. So uh, go in and check it out if you're watching this. I, I'm pretty sure you got the address, Suresh. I certainly do, and <laughs> just for all the people watching there, we do have another game coming up tonight, which will be the last game off the top of my head in uh, the Australia-Sweden matchup. So we'll see if we're playing for... If I say playing for sheep stations, does anybody from Sweden understand what I'm talking about? It's an expression we have in Australia. <laughs> uh, we'll see if we've got something to play for uh, by the time it gets there. That's at 9 o'clock. Uh, that's Australian Eastern time, so 2100, which would have make it about 11 o'clock in the morning over there in Europe. Uh, so a little bit more friendly than this. Hopefully you could have cracked out your iced tea by then. Now we actually see here a uh, Swedish Mike. He's actually pushing himself back. He 4K'd last turn and he's pushing himself back towards little Anakin here. So hoping to catch him out and that's dangerous for Aussie Mike because the escape routes for Anakin are really limited due to his proximity to the board edge. So we'll see what he can do. Well, Mike and Mike, <laughs> see who gets the better of that uh, because one of the Mikes has has a, a piece in a little bit of danger. If, if little Annie can't escape, I don't think his right turns are, are too great. If he can't escape, he might be eating some big three, four dice attacks. Uh, here we go. Using the pilot ability, rolls to the right, takes the three hard. That'll give him the evade token, focus evade. Uh, we'll see what he can do to get out of the jam next round. Obi-Wan's still hanging behind. I feel like Simon for Aussie Mike, he, he might need to, once, once Swedish Mike commits some of his T-70s to to an engagement, he might need to start pushing in uh, Obi-Wan in that E to 2 because he just can't afford to have so many points tied up in a ship that's hanging hanging back. No. Very true. Hey, shot's fired. Shot's fired. Oh. So this is uh, Luminara going into yep. red and Let's just color code these little quickly. 
and blank blank, but with calibrated laser targeting, you've got just the one hit, should be okay. Yeah, there's a lot of blanks here. Um, uh, focus conversion saves yeah. the day. Now tell me how you think the next round might go down. Well, uh, I think that my Swedish Michael will just continue steamrolling down uh, the board edge, trying to catch little Annie. Um, let's see if he can get out of this. I don't know if he's, I don't think he can sort of face the X-Wings. Let's see if he can uh, barrel roll and maybe do a hard turn. Uh, to get out and get behind the the gas cloud. I'm wondering actually if if Swedish Mike just turns right and opens up on Lumi. Mm. I reckon that two turn on the on the red red squadron expert will actually fit around that rock or, or yeah. inside the rock I should say, and you can really start. You could you could delete Luminara in in a round if if Luminara isn't careful here, yeah. and and, and, and Aussie Mike, even if he even if he jams Anakin in, and he must be tempted to, although that's a that's a high risk move, even if he jams him in, you know, an advanced proton torpedo against the T seventy X wing, yeah, it's nice, but it's not that nice against the the three shields for hull. That's true. We'll see in a second what's going down here, and. Um... This is starting to uh, get me feeling a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty nervous, Fazi Mike. I have to say, I think he's put himself in a dilemma as to as to which way Swedish Mike's gonna gonna take this engagement. Let's see, we should also mention that we got a simultaneous game. Yeah, maybe you did that before, but uh, Sweden and Australia streamed at the same time. So um, <clears throat> I'm trying to follow along there as well. Yeah, that's uh, Nobby's Resistance, A-Wings and Poe against Johan, who's got a Malaris and a uh, three... Sinai Jameis engineer tie silences. Yeah. So a bit of an is that an efficiency squad I think you're looking for there with a, the excellent chassis that the tie silencer mm. is. No. Yeah. And that one started about half an hour before we did. Uh, so they're already in the midst of the engagement. The moment like, uh, Nobby is in the lead. Yep, Five, but six. if uh, Johan pops an A wing, that yeah. <laughs> could change pretty quick. <laughs> And Aussie Mike here is taking some time over his dials. We've just seen him reset a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I think, really, he's got the hardest choice here. He has to play against both of the both of the option that Swedish Mike has presented: either jamming the X wings, you know, three forward, four forward, and catching out Lil Annie. And it's a four forward. Yeah. There we go. So that's the answer to the question. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he. Maybe boost for a block? No, I think he's got to stay there, take a focus, and then go for the 4K next turn. Ah, so he's really just, just playing along that edge of the board and, and forcing Ozzy Mike to come towards him. Yeah. Because then uh, the next turn he can do 4Ks and then he can boost uh, into focus with uh, the pattern analyzer. Yes. Okay, so there we have the four fours. Our Lumi's, yeah, you see the Lumi just had to do that three bank left mm. and, and change the angle there. And that's because of the threat of that two turn. It's taking a lock with no real prospect of a good shot. That said, he should have moved broadside first. 
Yeah, he. I think. I think he did. Oh, he did. Yeah. I just jammed him forwards. Yes, he did. Yep. Oh, straight one. Yeah. No, just just so slow. I missed it. <laughs> and he's turned away. So. And he oh, landed it's a two on. Turn as well, which means he won't get his chassis ability and takes the strain. Let's just line that up. Oh, I no shots though. I think he might have gotten away with it. Yeah. And just a little two forwards there from Obi Wan. Now we'll only get a couple of shots this round. Yellow might get a shot on little Annie. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. And here we've got broadside. Iron turret's got the wrong facing, so just the primary attack. Two dice and a focus, just the one should be okay. Yes. Two lanes. Alrighty. So I think you I think you you you're pretty much spot on there. The uh, 4K must be nailed on next round. Yeah. Question is that if he will do the boost or if he will just happy to stay. Yeah, and focus. Yeah. I think I think. I like. Yep. I think so. I like the idea of the boost left. Yeah. 4K boost left. Might be able to catch the broadside, but and oh yeah, and uh, Anakin is gonna go over yeah. that uh, gas cloud again. I think he can roll left off it if he oh, really yeah. wants to. True, that's true. So, Aussie, Aussie Mike's got another dilemma here, and I and I really think that that the play here from from Swedish Mike. Not the most uh, intricate play in the world, I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, but he, he's just brute forcing this at the moment. Yeah. And and something's got to give eventually. At, at the moment, Swedish, can... Swedish Mike yep. is controlling the, the movements um, yes. of Aussie Mike just by brute force. Yeah, he, 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 by, and that I mean Aussie Mike, because I'm not biased at all. No. Nope. <laughs> um, uh, he, he needs something here that's, that's <clears throat> going to break up the, the X-Wing formation. It's okay to be biased yeah, no. on this stream, though. Uh, that's why I brought a, <laughs> that's why I brought an Aussie to come and take with me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> And I, I, got, I, I got a stake in this game. <laughs> That's true, and I understand you're, you are the Swedish team captain. Indeed. So how did you how did you feel about the, this this matchup and and some of the other ones coming into the round? Oh, it's it's so hard predicting matchups, but um, I think we got a pretty even uh, field for this round. Um, I think the first game was the game we had at le the least amount of sort of uh, predictions that would go right. But um, I, I think it, I, I think it's gonna be pretty even in the rest of the games. Right. He's taken the focus so that you predicted the 4K. That one was nailed on, but he's taken the focus. And, oh, wait, no, Talon roll. Hey, so he's...
Yep. Ah, oh, he's turned away again. Ugh. Yes. I think you got to spin your arc there, broadside, and and maybe maybe start to use that ion cannon. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the piece you have to to really start influencing the X wings here. If you ion one of them, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll actually start to just cut Bre down their options. <laughs> Breaking up the formation, basically. Yeah, exactly. And here we go. Let's see. What? Oh, I just. Ah, yeah, he did it. Roll left, so he's gonna take the, gonna take the effect of the gas cloud again. And takes the strain. He will get to use the chassis ability, though. Yeah. And he's, I wonder if he's got no shots coming in. Yeah, and I think I like this from Anakin. I this is good. If that barrel roll to the right fits, I like the idea here for from the Aussie point of view, at least, of getting Anakin maybe in behind the the T seventies. Yeah, there we go. Is it gives you two options now. Although one of them's pretty average, I don't think you'll be jamming, <laughs> jamming uh, Obi Wan into the middle there. But you'll at least get a shot. It won't be very good. Did use patience. Got no. Nope. Didn't use patience. Got two dice. The only one hit. Ooh, spends the focus. And coming up, no, nothing for little Annie. Does Broadside get that iron cannon off? That's the critical one, as you said. Mm -hmm. Either, ooh, wait, Luminara's got a, a range three cheeky shot. Yeah. That means she's getting one back. Indeed, I hit, oh, hit crit. Had to spend the focus, remember? Ooh. Takes two. It's a little bit cheeky, I have to say. There we go. Uh, of course, before that happens, we'll get some shots into broadside. There we go. Three hits. Could be dangerous. Broadside rotated their arc, so they'll take two. Nothing yeah. doing there for green. Second shot. Spends focus for two. Yep. Takes one. And another one. Shields down. Shields down. Shields down. And lastly, see if this uh, Red Squadron Expert, <clears throat> the purple oh. one, can actually do some damage. Revenge shot. Unmodified. Two hits. Not bad, not bad. Of course, Luminara says, thanks for coming, it's only one hit. <laughs> and rolls exactly what you need. And here we go. Here's broadside. What have you got, broadside? Two unobstructed shots. Uh, I think just the one there, actually, because the cannon turret is just range two. Oh, if that's top true. Of my head. So. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, look out. This is dangerous. Needs natties, otherwise you're ioned. Nope. There we go. There we go. 
takes one and an iron. Now, my question to you. Yeah. Swedish Mike, does he keep his ships in formation or will he break them up now and 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 be forced to break them up, I should say? And the turn in seems a little bit attractive, but of course that Red Squadron expert at the front needs to move straight. What do you think he's doing? I think he's going to do one forward with all of the, the ships. Okay. Be stressed and... He's got those R4s though, so that opens up the two range. Yeah, that's true. Very true. And I mean, um, yep. Obi-Wan is coming in. I'm not sure if he needs to... If he goes quick, at least, he can go past the asteroid. Yeah. I think Obi-Wan is banking, right? Yeah. Like, like, I think he wants to push... Ozzy Mike, this is, wants to push Obi-Wan in between the two gas clouds mm. and actually get himself in behind... Well, until they K-turn, of course, but <laughs> in behind some of these X-Wings and start to use, you know, Auto Blaster R7 marksmanship uh, to put some real, real damage into these guys. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe... What, what I would have done could maybe three straight with yellow, green, and red, and just park in front of the blue. Uh, yeah. To sort of hold the game and, and open up that arc a little bit. Uh, Although I suspect Luminara is going to turn in, get, get some cover behind that rock that rock yeah the problem is of course with that is you don't want to hang broadside out to dry which is the danger here for aussie mike so i feel like mm. anakin is turning around he could go left or right depending on which way he thinks he can get into the fight the fastest i like the bank to the right from obi-wan uh, broadside can one forward to victory and, and Luminara wants to turn in get cover from the rock that's what I feel like Michael's doing but then again he's he, he's the one who has a ticket to the event and I don't so I'm just talking so <laughs> so we'll see how we go yeah, we got Andreas Colson commentating in the chat that it looks like Nobby might be taking the, that that other game being played right now yeah, Nobby is up. Uh, for those who don't have uh, is that Nickel City, yeah, uh, in the in their second window. <laughs> One of the other advantages of this, it's kind of like watching watching Sunday game day or something like that, or your sport of choice <laughs> on your TV with all the games going at once. Loving it. I'm not a big fan of sports, but this this kind of sports I'm okay with. Oh, but the Euro leagues are on. I'm Australian and I'm following the Euro Leagues. <laughs> I, I'm assuming you are talking about football. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Aussie Mike, there's still yet to set a couple of dials, so still has to think about some of these moves. Well, well, Simon, you and I think we we know what the players are doing, of course. <clears throat> and, and the theme of the game, I think, for Aussie Mike is he's really had to play play around. You know, multiple options here from Swedish Mike with regards to where where can send these X wings, especially with that very versatile combination of R four and pattern analyzer that he's gone with. Yeah. But we do have one iron ship as well. Yep, that's okay. Yeah. Like you said, like one forward is a completely legitimate move yeah. that Luminara does not like. <laughs> And dials it down. Okay, it might be sizing up. 
whichever controls you've got on these Eater 2s, intuitive controls, thank you. Just for maybe a roll to the right, I don't think he sticks it, so hopefully he hasn't banked on that one. Here's the system phase, and you've also got those ion bombs on broadside, remember? Yeah. Now, you and I don't think you'll want to use them, based on where we think these ships are going. But maybe but, it drops one for insurance. Yeah, they're, they are there, at least. Uh, no, he's unset broadside's dial. Nope, there it goes. And he's unset Lumi's dial. <laughs> The suspense is killing me. Oh man. Here we go again. Take three. Yeah, we've got 40 minutes left of this game. We've got 26 people watching us live. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Yeah, and um, if you like the what we're doing here, hit us uh, with a thumbs up and go and check out uh, Sydney City's Base Slugs uh, Twitch channel as well. Here we go. We got movement. He's starting with the ionized ship here. Yep, and no bomb. Nope. Makes the focus. And let's see if the rest of the squad follows suit. What have we got? What have we got? There it is, one forwards. Okay, yeah. so that's that's really shown the hand here. This is opportunity for Aussie Mike now that not not quite committed, but has really has really put himself in where next round, uh, Swedish Mike, that big asteroid there at the top of your screen, mm -hmm. that's coming into play quite heavily with not not this round necessarily, but the next one. Oh, here we go. He's actually broken up the formation a little bit. He's turned in that green red expert yeah. to maybe cover the flank there against Obi Wan. Ooh. Oh, you don't Straight want to stay there. That's ah, uh, oh, that's danger, Will Robinson. So he uses the chassis ability there. Only a two bank, so no chassis ability for a free evade. Won't need it. Won't get shot. Takes an evade? No, it takes a focus. Uh, ooh. Ooh, interesting. And, oh, a turn right, okay. Same, same. Still, oh, he boosts out, so he... The green boost. will get a shot. Green will, and that... Uh, Unobstructed? Probably is obstructed. Now, that's true. Now, remember the the one that's taking damage here is blue. Yeah. So shooting at some fresh T70s here. Sneaks into range one, I think. Yes, he does against green. <laughs> Will he spend? Yeah, he's oh, that's oh, aggressive. He oh, he's very aggressive. Will, uh, and I think you take the, the shield here. I, he has to, he, he bumped there, so he doesn't actually have oh, a token. Oh yeah, he's going for green, yeah. There we go. And that's obstructed. I actually like, uh, let's see who, he, who, who did he ping there? Because I like broadside. I like the idea that you burn down broadside. So, range three, through the rock, two hits, 
Oh, three minutes. Oh, disrespects <laughs> the rest of the next bet. <laughs> And range one into Lumi. Two hits. Yeah, a bit subpar, so just, just two there by spending the token. Ooh. Oh, and just the one. So that's one picture that is. Yeah. Yeah. Drop the focus. You didn't spend the focus? Yeah, you spend the focus. Excellent. And you'll take take your one shield that you've got. It's not the Delta 7B chassis, it's just the base model. And let's see if we have another ion situation here with broadside. This time it's an obstructed shot. Yep. And both players have focus tokens. Oh, that's three hits. Suspense is killing me. Oh, uh, we have having connectivity issues. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. Yes. Let's see. We are back online at least. Let's connect the game again. I'm sorry about this. Can you hear me, Shuresh? I've got you now. So I think you dropped out there for just a little while. Yeah, I've, I've stopped the time and sorry about this we will be back up and running in just a few minutes luckily the board state is saved by TTS uh, the magic of TTS and I hope we'll get this one going back before too long yeah Meanwhile, it's pretty close there. Just while you get that one back up, just following along with Nickel City X-Wing on Twitch, there's a couple of minutes left in the game. Nobby's only up by, what's that, 19 points. This one's close. I think it still could go either way. So still a lot to play for for these two players. Yeah. Back in our own game. Hopefully some <laughs> bloke named Michael wins. Let's see, I'm sweating here. And just trying to jump back in there so we can get this show back going on the road. There we go. Promoting players. Hey. And I think we're back. I think we're rewound a little. Just right. from what I'm looking at. Oh no. Let's see. Can we? Yeah, this is last round. Can we do this one? Yeah, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry.
Ah, uh, so we're just to the last round. So see if we can just fix up this game state as fast yeah. as we can. And I'm, we'll... I'm going to jump there. jump out and uh, we can just do our moves from here. Okay. Right. I'm going to jump in and talk to the players for just a second. I'll be back okay. in a second. Nobby got up by six points. There we go. Yeah, so we are back. The players are resetting the table to get the current state right. And let's see. We have news from uh, the Nickel City X Wing. Let's see. Yeah, Nobby is up by six points at the moment. It, it yeah, is fragile. Great. Yeah, it is. Time is up. Congratulations, Nobby. And that's what, 2-2 two, two now? Indeed. This is getting more and more interesting. So they're just sorting out their game state. Yes. Pretty much done. Good to go. Just waiting on the clock. Let's kick this one off again. Thank you very much again for sticking around with us. Yeah. Let's see what happens with this pretty critical iron cannon shot here from Broadside. Both players here have the focus, so Broadside will actually get to pop his ability and and be able to change that result there. Mm -hmm. That's great for him. And he can actually control some of this off the board. Or not off the board, I should say, but but just, just to exert control on, on this Red Squadron Expert and, and just use that Iron Cannon to good effect without being able, without the, uh, firstly, the Red Squadron Expert able to chase effectively. And secondly, possibly hindering the rest of the squad if they just want to try and nail broadside. Yeah. And 
Ready to go. They're just waiting on the clock there, Simon. Yeah. Let's see, I managed to set the clock there. And Let's here go. we go. Clock's running and we're good to go. Here comes that critical broadside shot. There we go. Okay, back on. Okay, uh, they're waiting for 34 minutes, 37 seconds, which is when I think that they, they understood the game. Yeah, that's another 10 seconds. Cut it. And that's just about to tick over now. Who do you think has got the upper hand at the moment, or do you still think we've all got all to play for? I think we still have all to play for, to be honest. But this is uh, spent focus for two hits with Ion Cannon. Oh, he's got two pictures. He's got yep. the focus. He, he dodges that bullet. Yes. Hey, we got here key. with Mr. C in the chat. When is game seven? That's tonight. Australian time. Yeah, and it's one o'clock uh, Swedish Central European time. I'm not sure if it's... It, w do you know if uh, the Space Lugs will uh, stream that last game? I'm tracking, yes. So yes. we should have a Cam and Jim on tonight. Ah, oh, cool. And that would be um, Andreas Carlsen uh, playing for Sweden. And off the top of my head, it's it's the Harp Daddy himself, Tom Harper, the most handsome mm. man in X-Wing. Now, I'm going to be very disappointed if I don't see some some aggression here, even if it's good yeah. controlled aggression. <laughs> but I really just want to see something here from Anakin. He needs to get himself in the fight. He's the biggest piece in the list, and he just needs to. He's built for to. To deal damage with that auto blaster combo, he, he needs to get it. He needs to get it dealing damage. Yeah, and I think we will see yeah a broadside chase here from Swedish Michael. Uh, broadside doesn't really have any anywhere to go. It's a, a an open space. Yep. Um, Maybe a maybe a, a left turn and, a, and spin the arc but you're spinning the arc you're not getting your mod and and the chasing t70s will get their mods yeah. that's a losing proposition for broadside although you may be able to bring your iron bombs into play if you survive the entire round and that's a big if with a one die ship that's already taken three damage yeah i think we'll see a two bank or a Two turn from blue. Two turn, I like. Yeah, and a oh. three bank from yellow. Blue, I think three turn actually. Yeah. Two two doesn't look great. Three, yeah. and they're ready to go. Nope, he's unset a dial. That was green. Set it again. Let's look at the system phase. You might see a uh, iron bomb here trying to catch green. Uh, I think it's a bit a bit far away for an iron bomb. But we'll see. Yeah. Although like the that two bank or maybe even a three bank from green, I think fits, and that's yeah where the iron bomb comes into play. I think actually I think you're right there, Simon, because that also drags green away from Obi Wan. Yeah. There we go. And we got a confirmation here that Space Logs are streaming the Lost Game. Yeah, like I said, should be Cam and Jim on tonight. So it should be a good match to have a listen to. If you can spare the time, we'd, we'd love to have you around with us while we stream Game 7. And for those neutrals out there, hopefully it's a live, it's a live match with everything to play for. Yeah. Oh, it's a K. I was trying to catch Lumi. 
I, th I think I. I... Ooh. Uh, he's well, going split up here. Yeah, yeah, he's going for half points on broadside and going. To... Oh, that's on the rock. That's on the rock. Oh, that's not good. That's. You know, if, uh... even though he might not take shots this turn, I don't know. But uh... can he hat and analyze and boost off the rock? Yeah, he could, but will he remember it? Oh, come on, Simon, you got to back your team. Yeah, I know. I'm just <laughs> biting my nails here. Back your team here, boost off the rock, point yourself at Lumi. <laughs> takes the oh, damage. takes the damage too. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Because he's, he's fully executed the maneuver. Yeah. You can do this. No. Oh, he's pinged the table. Uh. <sighs> We will have a post game talk. <laughs> How's your hair dry? Is that a is that a phrase you're familiar with? Uh, I watch too much football, but <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not familiar with that phrase. <laughs> it's where the the manager gets the team in at half time and just yells at them. Yeah. I'm a big fan of English football, so Sir, Sir Alex Ferguson's hair dryer was quite infamous. Yeah, Lumi is trying to skirt around here. Doesn't want to present her own broadside to those T seventies, and yeah, and Green will take. Oh, a talent roll! Oh, oh, I, 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 I don't know how you feel about that, Simon, but I think you know how I feel about that. Yeah. I think we got some people joining us from uh, the the other game uh, at the moment. So welcome everyone who's just popping in. We've got. Uh... Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Two two now in the uh, Sweden Australia matchup. So lots and lots to play for. This Here's is. Here's a pop gunshot. Yeah, and it's range two as well. Yep, he is auto blasting. No arc. So. Uh, he's going to drop one of his R7A7s to get himself a crit, which. So that's the last shield on green. Yeah, it's another shield. Oh, wait. Ooh. Just before. Nothing with the bomb. That was That's okay. Uh, that Very was close. important. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Range one uh, into range broadside. One. Uh, looking for big damage here. You think he's? I, I think. Yeah. I think he might be willing to take an iron at this time. Uh, spending the the. F yeah, you spend the focus. Yes. Now. So. Uh, down hits. to one. Yeah. The problem is, if you get ioned here, I reckon you'll be ioned until you leave the board. Yeah. Because if you get ioned here, you're going to walk yourself into another ion bomb, <laughs> <laughs> um, and and surely broadside is is maybe turning turning to the right. Uh, get out of those arcs and, and just keep ironing. 
and you'll actually lose you'll actually lose a, a joust against a Y wing. Um, <laughs> and that Red Squadron expert might have might have a hair drive their own to answer to when they get back after this match. Ooh. Yep, and he's gonna spend that. He'll guarantee it. Yeah. And he's. That's a lot of damage as well. No, uh, it's one damage. It's but... Just pick up ten tokens. There we go. So that's half points on blue, half points on broadside. Leaves Michael, Aussie Michael, in the lead by three points. Yeah, just a few. And the critical thing here is that the formation is is split. Yes. Uh, Green Green has the option to turn in to the right and and maintain that maintain that chase on Luminari if if uh, Swedish Mike wants to. But the formation is now split, and it'll be interesting to see how Broadside plays. See if he can actually get around get around. Uh, the one forward here that the red red squadron expert needs to mm -hmm. do drop another bomb that's another ion and you can just keep keep shepherding them off with the ions until they're <laughs> until that that red red squadron expert sorry that blue red squadron expert try saying that 10 times fast yeah. <laughs> is is, um, <laughs> is either dead or or just completely out of the fight now Anakin skywalker has been totally absent in this game yeah except for the the last crit no no anakin yeah no anakin um, yeah, well. yeah, totally absent obi-wan hasn't done too much either although he is mostly that end game piece that said with 23 minutes left we are coming to if not the board state end game the time end game yes and you and and, and ozzy mike needs Obi-Wan to start dealing some damage and facing that gas cloud, he probably doesn't have too many great options. Although he's got he's got his intuitive control, so I, 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 I'm allowed to say I sense the barrel, I'm mixing up my metaphors here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so dials are down. Hmm. I'm nervous now. And do you drop the last iron bomb here? I think you do. Yeah. Just think you make sure of it. Fearless Gundarks roots for Michael in the chat. Thanks, Nobby. Uh, Good to see you got up there, because I'm not partisan at all. <laughs> Congratulations, Nobby. Well played. Yeah, still going in with a straight, so just keeping himself into the... in that channel there on the side of the board. And hello, Richard from Team Ireland. Great to have you along with us. Welcome. Do you like... Swedish might keep himself in the channel there. I'm not sure what he's playing at here, to be honest. Yeah, I just yeah. don't think he'll have a target. Here's the stress. So, what we've noticed here is that Obi Wan did not use his intuitive controls. Yeah. Nor did, for that matter, Broadside drop an iron bomb. So his ah, he's gonna try and nail Ooh. Broadside. Okay. This might not be that bad. I mean, broadside, broadside has what? One hull left. One hull left. And now you need to do broadside first. You're on initiative three, broadside. And running away there with Lumi. And here's the big turn in from little Annie. Ooh. Oh, he's bot. Ah. Uh. 
There's the two turn. I oh that's close. I think he's still in I think he's still in arc. So Obi Wan needs to look for some kind of initiative kill here. Took the strain. Gonna go range two there with an auto blaster. Yeah. So two dice only. He's gonna flip and crit with R seven A seven. Roll doesn't matter. That's oh, a fuel leak. Yeah. So this puts that Red Squadron expert in a trade here with Broadside. No, it doesn't. He's got two hull left. Yeah. One, two, three, four damage. Oh yeah, the Red Squadron yeah. expert, yeah. It's the trick by not dropping that bomb. There we go, that's a dead broadside. Yeah, definitely missed the trick by not do dropping that bomb. Yeah. But broadside will have one simultaneous fire shot. Yeah, I think you actually shoot it. Green, Green. yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a weapons failure. Oh, I got oh. the weapons failure there for the, the crit. That's... So, actually makes uh, difference. Yeah. I but, think I think that's a massive error to not drop that bomb. It's huge. Ah, uh, uh, it's going for that range one say, shot. Yeah, I, I have to say uh, I'm, I'm not keen. We'll guarantee the ion though with the pilot ability yeah. and the focused result. So it takes one damage and one ion. We'll live. That means that he will draw at least one more attack. Uh, from uh, yes, and, and that's where the bomb would have finished him off. And of course, then again, the, the o yep. Obi would have run run into that bomb as well. I guess. I oh, know. Remember, he was the bomb. Actually, would have been. Oh yeah, close. Yeah. But. <sighs> but now the game has swung towards. Swedish mic. At the moment, <laughs> we we've got twenty five points uh, lo loaded in that blue. Uh... Yeah, we're behind one hull. Yes. Yeah. We got Nils Tillander saying "What's up" in the chat. It's quite good. What's up, my Nils? <laughs> Oh, we got and, six, 16 minutes left. Yeah. The problem is for Obi-Wan, of course, is that Red's got a really good option to just turn in there on, on Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan does not want to see those four dice. Nope. And Minara is facing the wrong way. Yeah. Do you think... Anakin will go in between the gas clouds, or I don't think he will f sort of face the two X wings on the outside. I uh, don't want to adjust T seventies. No, but then don't again, know. then again, there's the play if <laughs> if uh, Swedish Michael is turning in uh, in between the rock and the gas cloud there. Yeah, but like a, a bank there from, from Anakin, he gives him options. Or even you see what the X-Wings do 
Uh, uh, will your pilot ability help you? Oh, it's hard to say. Uh, just with the geometry of those two yes. gas clouds and, <laughs> and where Lumi might end up with these X-Wings, you might have the option to just change the angle there with your pilot ability with Anakin to take that barrel roll. Mm. Uh, let's see what we've got okay he's reaching for his dials he thinks they're set okay and what, what happened there uh, that's the uh, intuitive controls. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Draconarius, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Yep, ion only, no damage. Thank you for that clarification. Makes me feel a little bit better <laughs> about the play, although not, not so good that I got it wrong, but that's okay. And here we go. There's the, the ion move from the Red Squadron Expert. I, I like the intuitive controls there, just cutting cutting down the angle. Uh, for green red squadron expert uh, to try and turn in on Obi Wan, so I think that suits the Eater two quite fine. Oh, there's a just a bank. I think we might see a 4K again from green here. Uh, we'll see what we've got. We got green. Oh, just a one bank. <gasps> okay, there might be a block. Yeah. Now let's see what Mr. Skywalker has done. Nope, nope. On boost, okay. So the problem here for, for Aussie Mike is that is that he hasn't really managed to to give himself a, a really good engagement. He's got bits and pieces there, he traded shots with Broadside, yeah that's fine. Now Broadside's gone and you're still in arc. Uh, there little Annie, just watch out. <laughs> um, Unobstructed. Yeah, range one as well. Oh, there's no, there's no arc on blue. Oh, and nothing for your pilot ability. And 4K is red, so green can take a few more hits. Unless they're crits. Yeah, that's true. Oh, here we go. Double crits. Uh, he's Dropping the last charge there on R7A7 for crit crit. There's no point oh. of saving them. Yep. That's actually half green. Yep. That's good. But console fire as well. Yeah. What was the second crit? Did you see that? Ah, uh, this first one was on the shields. Okay. And little Annie will go here at range three. And now green is tokenless. With the boost around there, so... Changing target he... to blue. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna try and pop blue off. No, changing back ah, to green. Changing back. <gasps> One. Oh, we'll take oh, it for survives. Out. Well, Gorilla blanking out that focus. Oh, it's that's Ben Doyle in the chat there. G'day, Ben. <laughs> and here come the Red Squadron experts. Oh, he sneaks into range two. That's big. It's 
pretty big because with only 10 minutes left, we may just be ending the game in one of those weird situations where, you know, one player is desperately hoping get the dials down, the other player is desperately hoping they don't. <laughs> and we'll use the free evade token there to avoid that shot from red. Nothing doing for yellow. Oh, is that? That's an orange. Go to Barry Tree. Don't forget your console. No. go save that let's see if the players remember the console fire and the force somebody's just pointed at it there we go yeah nothing now Annie got out of jail there And more importantly, though, he'll have to think about how he approaches the next turn yeah. with those two red squadrons on his starboard side, the right side of Annie, uh, primed to turn in. My, re my, my blah, 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 may run over the gas cloud, but with the option there for, you know, three, four dice shots or three or four dice shots, I should say, could be dangerous. Andreas in the chat says three forward from Anakin. Just don't make sure you don't get blocked because you've been carrying around an advanced proton torpedo for something like 67 minutes, my friend. <laughs> something you want to use, little Annie. <laughs> yeah. I would think we will see. Yeah. I think. Oh. I'm nervous now. I think we will see a turnaround from blue. Not sure it will be a K turn. It might be. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good option. Um, I think you'll see the the turn right there from both red and yellow. Yeah. And I like the idea of of green coming in to block Annie. Uh, as as was mentioned there, Andreas, yeah, three forwards. It is the the pretty obvious move, but if Green can somehow block that, uh, it'll leave Red and Yellow in there to get some some good shots against you know the ship with no action and no free evade token. If if he couldn't actually stick his move, so that's what I like from from Aussie Mike. I think Lumi's might gonna try and come in and and just finally nail red, uh, not red, that's blue. Everyone um, might try and trail green here, finish him off, look for some more points. And little Annie has two options. He can run if he really wants to. You know, barrel roll to the left and, and turn left even, or just go all out for maybe blue. Uh, try and initiative kill blue. Uh, but I just don't like don't like what you're looking at there with two full health T70s that are ready to chase you. They, the red and yellow probably would, would be without any focus talks. This or yeah. yeah. I love a set, and with six minutes to go, this could be the last round, Simon. Yeah. So, here we go. Now, Obi Wan stress, so nothing in the system phase for you. Oh, he's 4K'd. <gasps> ah. Okay, so he's opening up the. The, the turn for yellow maybe so 
Yellow wouldn't have bumped on the bumped red. I Getting still think like you could. Uh, uh, Simon, I don't like it. I don't know if you do, but I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's a Talon. Oh, and I don't like it either. <laughs> what do you think he was thinking there? I don't know. Let's see. Taking the focus. And I'll take, take the strain as well. Yeah. I, I, I just think that it, now that just cuts down your options there for for green to play for the block because you're going to block him, block him into nothing. Ah, uh, I am. Um, oh, he's going. Whoa. He's going okay. for for shots on uh, Obi. Yeah. This is a hail mary. Oh yeah, this is the move out. And he's looking for and a boost. Uh, yeah, uh, yep. No focus. And Ooh. oh, he's bumped straight one. Oh, it's massive because I think I'm Red's not got a shot there now, unobstructed. The loom is going for green. Yeah, going for the initiative kill. Oh, and there's the straight two that Ben Doyle called in the chat. Clears the reds, takes an evade, lined up in the bullseye. <laughs> yeah, I mean, green is gone, but green has done what it's supposed to do this turn. I just don't think there's another round though, Simon. Nope, I think that was the table clock. Let's go in and yes. see. Somebody's just paused it. Nope. Like, it's just not updating for me. Ah, uh, I'd call here for Obi Wan. Why did they pause the timer? Only get the one. F Let's see. I'm gonna pause the. Maybe coming back. Yep. See, we've got something in the chat. I just had the uh, just had Swedish Mike there. Just drop out. Ah. Go promote. Here we go. Johan says, Swedish Mike probably trying to catch Obi, looking for those fast points, and he needs them with only three minutes left in the round. Yeah. There we go. Back on time. The one gets the evade, he survives unless it's a double hit. That's a hull breach, that's empty with one <laughs> hull left. Now, but you got Lumi oh. here at range one with target lock. Ooh. Uh. Spend that lock. Oh, he's oh, dead. Yes. Nailed him. <laughs> that said, though, with like these these K turns and talent rolls by by red and yellow make more sense. Yeah. 
You don't have great shots against Obi-Wan, but you've got shots against Obi-Wan, and that's exactly what you need right now because you just you just need to score some points and you can actually... He you needs, could actually still win this game. He needs to kill him. And half Obi-Wan gives him 29 points and he needs 32. Right, so needs to kill Obi-Wan. Three plays, four, Spence. Oh, it's three hits. It's a good start. Ooh. Oh, he's got the force. He's got the force. Yeah. And this one... Obstructed. Oh, sneaks into the obstruction. Hit to the crit. Just two. Looking for paint. Yeah, he's got it. That's enough. I think there's going to be another round. Another round. Yeah, the overlay clock is not following the table clock exactly. So let's see if, how it plays out. If, if Swedish Mike can chuck these dice, he'll get another round. No. That's only one hit. And little Annie has the force there. Yes. Whew. All right. For those Swedish players out there, say back to dials. <laughs> there we go. This is the last round. 35 seconds on the clock. He got his dials flipped back over. Is there a path to victory? Let's see. He needs to have, have any two of uh, Ozzy Michael's ships or kill one of them. Okay, and remember... Without losing the blue. Position. Yeah. There we go, that's a table time. But they've already gone back to dial, so, so this is it. Lumi's taken a shield, and your your other problem here, though, Simon, is that your blue Red Squadron expert, he's on one. Yeah. And, and the initiative kill will be the problem. Indeed. And I feel like all I want to see now is an advanced proton torpedo. <laughs> Going out with a bang. Uh, but winning. Like you pay <laughs> big five dice attacks for a reason. You pay you pay a premium for those five dice attacks for a reason, yeah. so you want to use them. Alrighty. Dials. I oh, know, still thinking, and don't forget, Simon, as I recall, just correct me if I'm wrong, we've got the next game starting pretty much straight after this one. Yes, we will just reset the table. We will have uh, Cam on as a guest, hopefully. And, and also... yet another Michael. Yes. That's uh, Michael Turner flying the uh, Separatist fire sprays. Indeed, Django Sam. And Archie, who, Swedish Archie, who is, who is facing, is flying uh, Empire Aces. Here we... Oh, that'll be a really interesting matchup. Yeah. It'll be really interesting. Still thinking about yellow. The yellow's in a bit of a spot because the I think the turn might get yellow blocked into the asteroid. So yes. It's just really, really awkward. Let's see if he remembers that he can use the pattern analyzer to get away from there. And let's see. 
Here we go, he's ping the table. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Intuitive controls for a roll there. And it's all Swedish bike, so a lazy one bank right. <laughs> Getting ready for those five attack dice. Ooh. Oh, he sticks it. Oh, wow. Oh, I... oh, that's, that's some precision flying there. And, and that, that just opens up those arcs for possibly a game-winning shot. Well, it ain't over until it's over, but... Look, it's not a... It's a low percentage, I think. I think we agree that it's low percentage for Sweden to pull out the win on this one. But that two, that two turn, I think, is just up, up, the, up the numbers a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a juicy position for Lumina. Yes, indeed. And, and yeah, there's the boost. So looking to really looking for that initiative kill. Speaking of which, I don't know if I like this from from Aussie Mike. I oh, know he's, he's rolled out, so yeah. he's got some room. Even then, there's your pilot ability. And you've got a straight three. That proton torpedo will be staying in the tubes, I think. <laughs> Uh, everything oh. up yep and that's the bullseye as well so just needs paint although he's got no force and it'll just have a focus and Doyle said run fast run far he did neither of the two <laughs> Oh, and marksmanship will, will seal that deal. Yeah. But is he... Yeah. It's, it's only auto damage if it's a, out of arc, is it? Uh, oh, actually, you, right, you are. Yeah. So it does get to roll. Does not seal the deal. Oh, there's one in the box. Other one doesn't even matter. Oh, it's the first shot you survived. There yeah. we go, Natty's. You could have saved the, the other evade for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Luminara, sorry, Little Annie, range two. Two. Let's see if he can do the double paint. No. No. Blue is gone. Okay. Whew. What does that do to the equation? Does that mean he needs to nail Anakin now? Yeah, let's see. He needs 56 points. He can take out Obi-Wan. Uh, Obi he needs to take out Obi-Wan. That's the win condition here. Okay. Somebody will tell me what that percentage is. <laughs> but he's got six red dice. And Obi-Wan will probably have eight green dice. And we need three net hits. I think he's just counting them up here. Yeah, so right, he got the right chip. And you've got the one. Now, red is unmodded. 
Yellow just has the focus. And let's see if Luminara was in arc. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so range zero to two. Yep. So just the one hit their net after Luminara's uh, ability and the one evade. Yeah. And perfect roll wins this game. And that's not it. It's no. a good game. Good game. Thank you very much, both players, both Michaels. And thank you, Shuresh. Uh, we are a little bit behind schedule here. So uh, I will try to reset the table as quick as possible. And uh, we will be back with you in just a couple of minutes. So hang, hang on there. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much, Suresh, for, for hanging out with us today. And do you have anything you'd like to say? Yo, congratulations. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> firstly, <laughs> congratulations to both Michaels on an excellent game for us. Very, very close. I think we just saw, just saw the ace play at the end there for Aussie Mike. Indeed. Come, come in to play at the end. Simon, thank you very, very much for having me on your channel. I had a blast watching this game. Um, <laughs> looking forward to the next game. I'll just have that in the background while I have yeah. dinner with my family. <laughs> and of course, you've got Cameron from the C Sydney City Space Slugs jumping on to replace me. And don't forget game seven in the Australia-Sweden matchup on Sydney City Space Slugs. Plug, plug. Uh, at, uh, what's that? Uh, 1100 UTC. Yeah. Indeed, we will. We will. It will be. Uh, it will. Yeah. I'll see you there. <laughs> so Thanks. thank, thank you very much. Speak to you soon. Thank you.
Welcome. Hi, yeah, welcome back to Target Block TV. Uh, my name is Simon. And with me today, I have actually two guests. We got Cameron Dunn from Sydney, Sydney City Space Lugs. And we also Hello. have uh, Actor Khan, uh, team captain Hello. of uh, Team Australia. Welcome, Actor, and welcome, Cameron. Hello. How are you guys? How lucky doing? for Target Lock TV <laughs> having two incredible um, Australians on stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, I feel blessed. Let's see. I am, I am good. Um, I am good. And uh, thank you for having me on and also having Suresh on earlier as well. Um, a nice little bit of uh, cross pollination there, having <laughs> having us on the stream. I appreciate it. No, it's uh, it's uh, it's great. I'm all for that kind of sort of crossover things because um, it, it builds community and um, yeah. And it's fun, and it it's is. a lot of fun. It is, and it also gives it helps me do my job a little bit better. Because, yeah, I don't know. Well, uh, we all witnessed the the brutal slaying of Sweden earlier today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't say that. You guys got us in the uh, the day the, yesterday. We weren't feeling so hot. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> <laughs> but we. But we still got two games to go. We got two games to go, and now it's down to the uh, down to the wire, right? Indeed, we have uh, Archibald Simoni versus Michael Turner, and I will just flip the players around on the overlay so that it suits the stream. So, uh, Cameron, would you like to before the player starts? Would you like to read out Michael's list for us, please, today? I would love to. There's a lot to read out. Um, so this is, as everyone would know it, uh, the double fire spray, cis fire spray squad. Mm -hmm. um, very popular at the moment, but Michael's is a little bit different, so I will run through it. Uh, we've got Django Fett in the fire spray, of course. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a jamming beam seasoned navigator, which is uh, probably the, the extra spice in in uh, Mike's squad here. After you reveal your dial, set, a no set your dial to another non-red maneuver of the same speed and then just increase uh, the difficulty of it. Um, sort of like a pseudo scum uh, slave one title. Uh, then thermal detonators, contraband cybernetics. Uh, then he's got Zam Wessel with jamming beam, Count Dooku, thermal detonators, contraband cybernetics, the uh, separatist version of the slave one title and then boba fett and then the gunner which is uh just a lot of mods on zam wessel she's she's gonna be uh hard strapped to not have mods in this game mm. indeed and on sweden's side we got archibald running uh colonel Vessery uh, with crack shot we got vader with fire control system and seventh sister with fire control system it's non no no nonsense list Let's see what he can do with it today. So, uh, thank you for joining us, actor. I, it was a, a little bit of a last minute uh, uh, call there, but uh, I don't know if you would like to uh, hang out with us or if you got other engagements, then we can... No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm free. I'm happy to hang out as long as you guys are happy. Yeah. If you would like to, uh, I have put up a uh, live feed in the Discord uh, so that you can follow the game in real time and not on the delay, which is on uh, the YouTube channel. Okay. Let me do that because that would be a lot. That mm. definitely... Yes, I'm in that, I think. Yeah. So, actor, how, um, how have you been watching? I'm assuming you've watched every streamed Australia game because how dare you if you haven't? Uh, <laughs> I didn't watch. I didn't watch Ben's game because um, I was too busy worrying about my game. <laughs> well, fair enough. Actually, that's true because you, you were on stream at the same time. Yeah. Um, but how have you found the, um, the the games so far? So this round um, for Australia, in my opinion, was the hardest round. So, and what I mean by that is, you know how you do your pairing process? Um, we we found that the pairing process was a real issue with Sweden because it just, it was, it was a tough one. It was a really tough pairing um, list. So believe it or not, with the other two countries, um, Chile and, and Spain, we actually felt we had a better matrix in our games. Whereas this was much more um, close when it comes to the pairing process. So we, we knew this was gonna be a crazy tight, 
round. Um, and um, whilst we're nearly finished, I don't think I'm giving too much away. I was definitely paired into a bad pairing, which we knew was coming, but we were prepared to do that to give, well, we hope, some better pairs. So not giving away anything there. Wonderful, very smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, but it was um, it was a very 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 um, tight game. With I mean, I was really pleased to play Nicholas. Um, not played him before. Um, super super tight game. I was very pleased how it went. I, I, I bait the fact that I made one mistake and I've been berating myself for it. But uh, very very tight game. And on a game that I probably should have lost anyway. Uh, but I nearly, nearly, nearly stole it. But, um, but that was a super tough, tough game, and that was that was what you want. I mean, it's like you know, really tough games r right down to the wire. I mean, the last two games I've just watched, you know, I need a new pair of underpants. You know, <laughs> with the last two games that I've watched. <laughs> So it's it's like a, it's super good and um, you know we we thought Ben w was going to win his game Ben Doyle and he he narrowly lost his and so it's yeah super tight games mate super tight so two two to go and um, at least we've got a chance to we got two bites of the cherry yep. shall we say that let's um, see. but I. But I would say one other thing is I, I do feel I do feel sorry for Sweden. I didn't whilst I have no uh, this is no uh, splite or disrespect to Team USA. I did not feel that Sweden deserved to lose six one that first round. No, neither did I. But <laughs> 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 no, but it was it was great games and. Uh... Super good games. I mean, I, you're playing you're playing the best players in the US as well, or some of the best players in the US, because obviously not everybody can get on the team. But you know, fantastic, fantastic team. I've learned a valuable lesson not to be too quick typing in the chat uh, when there is two minutes left of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Been there. Okay. So as both as the captain of both of the players right now, can you guys reveal? I mean, you can say no, uh, <laughs> but do you can you reveal where where you had this game either side? Given it's in progress right now, actor, is this a good matchup for you? Uh, and Simon, was this a good matchup for you guys? Uh, I put it down as a neutral a neutral uh, matchup, and um, we got yeah, a, yeah we got yeah, we got the same yeah we got a point system, uh, which I'm not going to go deeper into, but. Um, Um, Share your secrets. Yeah, I, I, the the matchup uh, with uh, America ended up on thirteen points, and uh, the matchup against Australia ended up on nineteen points, which is tougher. So let's see how the the point system actually works. <laughs> but um, it it we it, are already yeah. doing better. Yeah. So. yeah, we we don't we don't know who wins this one either. This one, unfortunately, and this is where it goes back to that pairing where, where we knew the pairings were really tight. Um, at one stage, I was very excited because I was thinking that if I somehow managed to, to get Nicholas in a win on a red matchup, that actually would give us a really big um, bonus for this this um, this round. Um, and unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, but... Uh, it's interesting. So if Michael can can turn this around here, then I can breathe a lot easier when Tom plays his game because then Tom can just have fun. Yeah. Selfishly, um, I actually really want uh, Archie to take this one out because then that means that the game that we'll be streaming in about two and a half hours has even more weight to it and we can you, draw a huge crowd. That's very selfish of me, I know. You, but you, uh, you, you bad Australian. <laughs> Mike won't take it personally. I, I know Mike won't take it personally. <laughs> but then I really want Tom to win because he's a slug. Um, so, uh, but on, on this game right now, though, uh, the the matchup itself, I think I agree, uh, fairly neutral. I think Vader can really do some good work um, on just wearing Zam Wessel down um, and and Vessery. Vessery and Seventh Sister moving well before both of the fire sprays. Though I do think. Um, works at a little bit of a disadvantage uh, because I know Mike favors those boosts a lot. I've seen him fly this squad quite a few times um, and and he really loves to. If he's got the boost there, if it'll get him a shot or get him out of arc, he will take it. 
So um, I think that Vessery and Seven Sister will have to try and keep their, their arcs nice and wide uh, to try and catch the fire sprays. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting because, you know, the one thing I liked about the um, the Swedish list is Nicholas's list is really good because it's a fantastic list against swarms. And you know you're going to have swarms. And then it's a really good list to, 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 to shepherd lists in the pairing process because we saw that that was being held in the early stages of the pairing process and we knew why. And we were sitting there thinking, well, okay, well, we're going to have to manage this out as best as we can. And we knew we'd have to sacrifice somebody. So unfortunately, I was the one that had the tire tracks over his chest and was thrown in front of it. But um, but it's interesting because the list is, is very different. And this list is obviously very reliable. It's very simple, but it's very reliable um, on Archibald's side. And that's usually... Um such a boon as well is the simplicity because Mike although Mike I am sure has uh, all his triggers tattooed across his forearm he has a lot going on here um, and a mistake is easy to make I mean we saw it in that last game um, although it didn't really end up meaning too much uh, but Swedish Mike could have boosted off that rock uh, and maybe threatened a little bit more to come back around using the pattern analyzer um, and, he would, so it, and, he wouldn't, and he wouldn't have been hit with a crit um, because he wouldn't have got the range to shot from from Annie. Correct. That's exactly um, right. Yeah, and it's like, you know, I'm kicking myself in my game against Nicholas because I shot um, Paylob at range one, um, and I probably should have not shot him um, and kept another ship alive just to make it more difficult for the next turn. I mean, it could have been, it could have paid off because Paylob, you know, if you do any damage to Paylob, and you can then threaten Paylob. But... Um, but it's those things, you know, you have to make some, you have to make some calls, but missing triggers. I haven't missed any triggers so far. Touch wood. Missing <laughs> triggers is, is it feels bad when you, when you look at the trigger and you go, actually that could have won me the game or that could have put me in a really good position if I forgot it. So it's tough. Indeed. So I think that is going to be one of the things, uh, the mental fatigue, even though Mike is only flying two ships, there is a mental fatigue there because, uh, you have only two ships and every move you make counts and you've got to sort of commit to a ship here and it looks like perhaps uh, Mike is at least committing he's definitely committing to that top side of the board um, but whether or not he's committing into Seventh Sister um, well I guess we'll have to see I, I can't imagine him doing a four straight down there and leaving his side to, to Vader no I mean I think if he does that that's uh He's opening himself up into a really bad place, isn't he? Do you, do you think keeping these two fire sprays close together like this is a good plan, guys? To be honest, I, I think mm. it is. I, I like it. I actually like it against this list because it, it's a problem if, you know, the, the, you know, Whilst these ships are amazing and you can see the K turns from the, you know, if the, you know, the, 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 the defender can do all sorts of crazy stuff. It's a really dangerous situation for those ships because bumps are a real problem and they've got to really think about the, the, the ordnance because, you know, that, that can really hurt these ships. interesting that's a bump yeah the bump yeah the bump is definitely um a solid plan it looks like it does look like uh archie wants to try and take down zam um zam is i'm in two minds about it because i think zam is she's I'm pretty sure she's the most expensive ship on the board um she has a lot of really good end game potential if vader isn't there anymore mm -hmm. um but I'm just, she takes so long to put down and you sort of, while you're focusing in on Zam, Django still does a lot of work. Um, so he's sort of thrown Seven Sister here to, to the Wolves and just, good thing, I don't think he's got the range run there. So Seven Sister should be fine and get out of this one and, and takes at least a decent shot uh, into into Zam, as Django, sorry there. But 
um, yeah, I, I just I always get a bit worried going all in on Zam just because she takes so long to deal with. But again, she's a good endgame ship, so it's a bit of two minds. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, you don't want to. You don't want Sam to be the end game ship uh, with her double attacks, uh, and you don't want to shoot it at her in the beginning. It's a double-edged sword, uh, but I think you just gotta deal with it. We got the reroll for fire control system. Converts with a force, force and uh, the automated crit. Takes one. Reveals cards. Makes a target lock on Vader. Going for Vader. So after this uh, engagement, I'll explain the quote unquote genius of the season navigator on Django. Uh, people sort of questioning it in the chat, but we'll just watch this play out. So that was a that was a, a swing and a miss uh, down to Vader from or from Django into whoever Django is shooting into. <laughs> Zem wishing she had a green focus token out there. Mm -hmm. Depends target lock for three hits. Happy with that. It was a free target lock, so her pilot ability already um, paying for itself. Vader still got one, one force, but doesn't oh, need it. Three nights. Uh, now the I-4s get to respond here. Vessery may have... Yep, just got just got Zam there at range 3 through the, through the rocks. So it's 3 into 4. Uh, there's no, no damage no cards or anything down just yet and no mods uh, on Vessery's shot. But Vessery will get his lock from his ability though. Yeah, and probably a and a charge, and a, and, a, and a charge. Are you true? Uh, so so he will decides, get her lock and charge. He, so he oh, decides okay. decides not to shoot range three through the rock. What do you think on that one, son? Because that's another one where it's a bit of that. Do you shoot? So it's sort of back in the um, uh, what's his name? I've totally spaced on his name now. Um, Denga, uh, do you? I mean, this is not nearly that level, right? You've taken a shot. You'll get your target lock. But she'll also get her target lock. Do you think it's a good move to not take the shot? My my head always tells me take the shot. Yeah, so do I. But then, uh, then Archie is a better player than me, so I will not question <laughs> question his. Uh, but that's why here. we're here. We commentate because we can't play, and that way we get to say whatever we want <laughs> from our high horse yeah. and our mics. So mm. a pretty. Uh, uh, an, an effectual round. You've got a shield down on Zam, but a charge up on Zam. So I guess it's not really a good trade, but um, I guess it wasn't for nothing. Vader is down a single force. So he's only on two force now as well. So there's a bit of resource um, on both sides down mm -hmm. from that round, but really it's mostly even. Um, but I will just quickly run through the sort of semi-genius, I suppose. Um, Mike would call it a genius. Of the season navigator on Django. So Django's pilot ability, uh, while you defend or perform an attack, if the difficulty of your re revealed maneuver is less than that of the enemy ships, change one of the enemy ships' eyeball results to a blank result. Totally fine. Um, and season navigator means you can adjust your dial to the same speed to any maneuver of the same speed of what you've revealed, and then increase its difficulty. But the uh, due to the way that they've they've uh, ruled it, that AMG have ruled it, 
uh, Django, even if he reveals a one forward, which is blue, and then change its, changes its say to a one hard, which is uh, would become a red maneuver, it actually still counts as the blue maneuver. Um, so Django is still easily able to get his ability off um, while executing, say, a red one hard using Caesar Navigator. So that's sort of the the um, semi genius, I suppose, is that there's no downside. Doesn't remove Django's pilot ability from use by using Caesar Navigator. So that's sort of what Mike and the Australian team are going for there. Mm -hmm. So positioning wise, um, Vessery has. It looks like he's got a four, the four straight or the three straight, pretty clear there. Do you think you take it? Do you just he's dive in. into the middle? I think he dives in. Yeah, because yeah, you block a Zam there at least. I think he might even do a four straight and a boost and mm, to, try to and create catch, uh, yeah. a block. Catch that yeah. middle and come up. I think he does. I think if my if I was Mike, I'm two turning away with. Um, don't even know if two turning away will fit against um well hopefully i mean seven sister won't be there but she could just bump i mean right that, that, that is dangerous because you're right if if zam even does just uh oh i don't think that too hard fits i don't think it does i think it too uh, soft fits i think it mm. too soft fits and i think a you know, if he does a four straight and a boost, he does block it, but then he's not shooting with the um, with the defender. It's an interesting, it's an interesting thing to analyze what other people are going to do. Um, <laughs> so you look at your play, and then they do something that gets you, and you go, "Yeah, I'll, they're better at X-wing than I am." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least better at their list than you are. Yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. as well. You know what they're doing with their squad. You don't necessarily know what you're doing with their squad. Yeah. So, um, I mean, a, a genuine question here is: Does oh, I guess she probably doesn't want to, but Sam could drop a bomb because Django's probably just four straighting out of there, right? That that probably fits. Um. Just a four straight, even maybe a three bank. He just wants to use those rear rocks, and that's why I think Zam will try and uh, maybe even just a three bank from Zam if she thinks that Vessery is going to come in there and try and gum up the works. If that maybe fits, I think Mike's plan probably here is just to get past everyone and start using the rear arcs. Yeah, I, I I can see that being the logical choice here. I mean, for me right now is. I think Michael's a little jammed up. I think he has to take a uh, two soft left with Zam. Um, probably doesn't hit the rock. I think he's okay there if he does that because of the medium base. And I think he then even gets an ability to boost away if he has to, depending on, because he can see where, where the other ships are outside of Vader. So, you know, that's, that's important because Seven Sister may just bump um so Vessery's and... come out and has got into that middle but didn't take the boot he hasn't really gummed up the works here i think he's just saying hey if zam if you're gonna turn i'm gonna oh he gets the there. block i'm gonna he block, gets the block. <laughs> yeah that was that was a three bank which is what i said um but i was sort of thinking right. i was with you i thought uh that Vessery would try and get right in front of zam there yeah i would have um that's not bad though uh given Yep, Vader is out of there. Um, I think this might end up being a good turn for Mike, just especially yeah. if if uh, Django bumps here. Um, Vessery may not get a shot if Django bumps into Seventh Sister, and there's, then there's no shots, um, no shots from Archie's side, unless Vader does a roll here, which he's going to. Focus roll. Yep. So obviously the points don't allow for it, but do you think Vader hurts not having the afterburners? Yes, 100%. Vader yeah. with no afterburners is a real... I mean, it's still good. Still good if you play it well, but afterburners on Vader are amazing. It's hard once you get in the rocks because the barrel roll's all you've got and it's hard to get that barrel roll to do real work for you when you oh, can only go one. on side. Range one there. So... Uh, it's gonna take two shots at range one here. 
and one is unmodded. Um, the other one is sort of passively modded by uh, two of Zem's abilities, actually. I think Boba Fett will be active um, and Dooku, of course. Only one? Sorry, not, not Boba Fett. That's one of eight. So that might be uh, that might be the only shot. I think that is the only shot uh, that will come from Archie's side this turn. This this could be a bad one. Yeah. But I've seen Vader do much uh, much more with much less. So here we go. This is into Vader, I guess. Indeed. No focus token. It's a single hit. That's what having no mods will do for you. And that's evaded. Oh, that was unlucky. Statistically, I thought he'd do at least two hits, but then Vader should have got a evade for, so it, it, it equals out. But here is an issue because I think that target lock is on Vader, isn't it? Or did he? No, he it? spent it last turn. So it's it, this is time. this is pretty much actually I'm just double checking how the mods all work because he's got so many of them. This is pretty much just a Dooku. So probably you just Dooku a crit in here, just guarantee it, or, or you keep it and just use the force. Oh, yeah. oh whatever. He, I don't think he did spend it. So that I was I spent it, it. Or not spend it. Oh, he did spend it. Ah, yep. okay. There we go. Oh, that's yeah, well, swings and roundabouts, right? Get get nothing with an unmodded Django, and then not spend any mods on. Uh, you won't take any more shots. Shot. So this, this, this is this is where Vader. He was hoping Vader rolled what Vader rolled last turn. Yeah, yeah. but I think Vader probably only takes two here, right? Statistically, uh, it takes yeah. two. Oh. Yeah. Takes two. So that shields down, which which is opened up. Um, Vader for uh, a Dooku crit in the future. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful now. Do you just... Does Vader have a good route out of here, though? Um, maybe a three hard to the right? And because you've got to... Oh, actually... He's got... Yeah, Django can't really turn in. Uh, What's this shot? That was... I think that was just... Oh, yeah. They're just was clearing it. up. Yeah, so it was it. only one shot. Um, big turn there for for Mike. Um, or oh, the Zam trigger. Fully shot. Vader, Vader, Vader was in a good place because, um, in the sense of he got, uh, you know, I mean, it was unmodded shots, but you know, imagine if three damage had gone through there. That's Vader on half, and that suddenly mm. becomes a real problem. Um, and now you're in a situation where Vessery could potentially do another block but the, you know that means turning up turning into the front of zam and zam doesn't care if he gets blocked at this stage i don't think um you know you know zam, zam's probably just gonna do a one left you know one soft left and go i don't care where you go Vessery. if you block me again you're not shooting me and i still get my rear arc and vader Vader has to think about what he does. Does he, you know, he doesn't probably want a K turn here, but we will think about it. Yeah, you know, does and you know, my gut feel says that Django just goes straight. Who has okay, uh, first player here? I That's think it's Mike because Mike's been shooting Django first. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm Vader. I mean, a crazy move, but maybe not a terrible move. Could even be a three talent. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but I suspect Mike is probably going to double drop bombs here. Um, maybe from both ships. Um, a three talent should get Vader far enough away from the Sam. Maybe not. Yeah, Vader's in a bit of a precarious spot here. Um, because, if he turns because... to the left, he's taking a rear arc shot, most likely. If he turns to the right, he's probably copping. Oh, sorry, he's still copping those bombs from, from Django if he drops them. Rough spot. And and I'm not sure if that defender... I think the defender's okay, 
but it's bloody tight. Does that defender go over that rock? A 4K probably gets him away from there, and then he can block Django, potentially, if Django goes straight. Oh, it's, it's not it's not easy. Nope. Again, I think I think Zam does a one soft left. That makes m most sense. Still gets a really good rear arc potential shot. Doesn't care if the other if the defender goes in front to block because it just doesn't get shot. Still gets his arc out. Um, and Zam just. Uh, doesn't care about that and then it's really a case of what's Django gonna do yeah this is definitely a reset turn for Archie he, Archie, he really I needs think, to yeah. reset here don't don't yeah. worry about getting any shots on you've just got to get your ships in a bit of a better position to, to come back around yeah because I don't think fifth brother or seventh sorry seventh sister um K turns here because she takes a bomb yeah so yeah, I, think, I think a cheeky, an easy little three bank left, a boost around, just yeah, start coming I, back into I the just, fight. I think you've got to look at it, and and Vader's logical choice is to go right somewhere, so he avoids Django's bomb and a gets three hard is probably safe. The only thing is with Mike doesn't really can't really lead on season navigator here, so I'd I'd say a four forwards. Probably what he's got in there, expecting to have four forwards boost. I think, four, I think four forwards what he's got because he doesn't care if he gets bumped. There is a bomb that he'd have to eat, so he'd lose a shield because the Zam bomb. Assuming he drops one, I would drop only one at this stage because I just don't think Archibald's um, going to be. Zam hasn't uh, dropped just, any bombs this turn. Yeah, correct. Ooh, he's oh, one yeah. straighted and just avoided that rock. Very Jeez, good. one straight. Wow, wow. I need, I need to, I need to get my medication out. <laughs> I need to bring, I need to bring my blood pressure down. Yeah, Ooh. and as we suspected, that's what it is. Yeah, I mean that's a, a smart, that's a smart move from Mike because. What he's done here is he's got shots on Vader. For now. But we see a barrel here. And yeah. we also saw that Archie is the one with the first player token. First player, yeah. Okay, yeah, that definitely... The three hard is, was pretty smart there. <clears throat> and... Oh, that's not bad. That's good. That's... So that was, a, that was a bold move. That's why he didn't drop the bombs. He's got a target lock he's going to put on Vader. Yeah. He wants to put one damage in to get half points. Because I didn't consider two, that an option got, he's got simply two, he's because we thought uh, Django was moving f first. But if Django's moving second, this is definitely yes. where you put yourself. Yeah. And that's big because now you're in a situation where Vader really just can't allow himself to get hurt here. It's going to be a lock. Spence lock. So after this engagement, I'll ask you a question about the squad actor. Yeah. A question I've always wanted to ask. Needs, need, we need a blank here. Oh, well, Vader needs all paint. I'm going to be completely unbiased. He takes uh, one. And there's half point. That's half. Luckily not a crit, um, but it is a damage card. And now you've got two health left on Vader and possibly one more shot. Essentially full mods. Uh, and no shot again this round from Archie. He's got it. Yeah. Range three. This is the this is where afterburners is just critical for this list. But you just can't afford it. You just can't. Oof. <laughs> oh, that's big. That's big. Spends the force. Spends the force. He's already spent the force. Um, oh, is he? Oh, no. dear. I was getting excited there. There was me getting excited. But um, no, Vader should be fine here. I mean, he'd be very unlucky to take damage here. I spent the He's good. So the, he had the lock there, didn't spend it. What do you think of that? I, I, if I'm Mike, I would have spent. Can... I would have spent. I would have spent that lock every day of the week. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're getting those locks for free. You've paid four points. No, no, sorry. I keep forgetting it's the Zampala, not crew. I mean, imagine, um, imagine if that lock had hit, 
there's a crit going into into Vader this time. Yeah, yeah, I think that was um, that's sort of the so, idea, right? So, so the so when you so when we talk about missed opportunities, that there's a missed opportunity there. I For don't sure. see a dam, I don't see a damage card on Vader, so maybe they've forgotten to add it. No, no, it's there. It's, oh, the it's, entire, there it's actually the entire damage deck. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's not him. So well, Vader's dead. Well, Vader has 33, uh, 33 Vader, hull damage. Uh, so the Swedes are so kind. They're so kind. <laughs> so uh, a, question yeah. I, I have, a question I have for you, actor, um, yeah. as the captain. You obviously approve all the squads that come through. Um, yes. Do you think that uh, Zam is too um, passive mod heavy and Django is too passive mod light because I think in a lot of the other squads when they run when they run the double true. fire spray I, mm. I think that's true um, the theory that we had though was if we have the 194 bid it hugely influences the pairing process because if you if you Django Zam into Django Zam or Amira you know we always go second Yep. Okay. Yeah, it was a conversation I'd, I'd had with Mike. Yeah, um, and it was it was more ago. about it was more about getting mirror, and it's also you can play ace lists and go second, which is what so it gave it, Yeah, and it gave us more options for this type of pairing. Um, so this is one of the reasons I, I'm still I'm still in a quandary about even bringing Jan Django Zam because we were very close to bringing the, the, the Swarm. I think it was probably a good call. I think this is a solid squad. I just am always curious as to why, because I think one of Michael's complaints uh, that I've heard him make is uh, Django's not hitting hard enough. And I say to him, well, Django doesn't have any passive mods. There so here's a tra trap set. By yep. Archie and a trap sprung by Archie. And uh, Seven Sister took the target lock, so that Vassery uh, uh, Vassery uh, could take advantage of that as well. Triple modded. Let's see if Vader is gonna take it easy and hide behind the rock or if he is uh... oh, they're now realizing uh, uh, the entire damage deck is sitting on Vader there we go problem solved yes so Vader is on one force and two health yeah so does he spend the force hitter up require a new lock yes he does yeah this is violence yep. he's kind of in a situation where vader he's gonna have to trade vader vader's vader's what vader's there to trade you know the the you know seventh sister and and vessery are going to be incredibly difficult ships to, to to burn so i think michael here is considering a contraband cybernetics play i suspect he's got three talon in or actually probably he's considering um uh a season navigator change to a red maneuver possibly a makes it a two bank instead of a two straight uh which becomes red and then uses contraband cybernetics to still get his action so barrels in and takes uh, a target lock on vestry there interesting play. This, but it's so hard to Get, uh, get the damage go through with the double mod yeah I mean that's probably why he's chosen to burn the contraband mm. and instead of doing the, the two straight boost has gone for the two bank just to get that range one with mods this is Vader spending that focus he's happy with that Two hits and a crit. Ooh. Taking three. Shields down, yeah. No, sorry, not shields down. Down to one shield on Django. Alright, he's really gonna wanna see 
four hits. Um, otherwise, yeah, this could be just a, a nothing, just a little bit of a noodle nothing. slap. He's got the target lock. Maybe the focus was the right call. Yeah, that's four hits. Take four hits. So it's at least a shield down, but you know, that's it's a, it's a maximum of three damage. You think he spends a focus? I think he has uh, to spend a focus. Yeah. yeah. Go He's gonna get the any... mods anyway on the um target lock. The target lock. So yeah, better to not trade. Sorry, better to trade one shield than two. This is a range two shot. Yep. And he's still got that evade anyway, so he's still keeping uh keeping one damage away. Oh you don't want to spend that focus though. Really? He's doing it. He's doing what it. What are you doing, Michael? No. <laughs> no. Let's go jump in the chat. Uh, Let's tell him. Okay. <laughs> if he did, if he did, if he did hit three, if the three hits, three focuses, I would have, I would have spent. But there will be a second shot here from Sam, or else. Yeah. Yeah, which is why I'm confused why he spent that focus even more because yeah. it could have you been can better. save that for the return shot. Mm. All right, this is going to be a very happy shot here for Archie. Best shot he's probably had so far. Nope. <laughs> spends the newly acquired target Man. lock. Probably spends his lock. For one. Taking it. Spence charges for the Sam shot. This is kind of like a crit. Yeah. Oh, that's the perfect roll for him there. He's very happy with that. Uh, crit is not really in play due to the shields on Vessary, but there's no mods now on Vessary. Ooh, takes it oh, all. The shields big. are down. That's, that's big. That's big. I mean, we questioned uh, Mike spending that focus before, but if he hadn't spent the focus, then that, um, that evade, uh, would evade would still be out there. Yeah. Well, that's big because now Vesri's in a situation where she can't take one more hit. And she had a wet noodle shot too. No. <laughs> She's got the target lock. Oh, can't use her ability. Spends it and gets the hit, so yeah. That's the shame. Takes two. That is shields down on Zam. She's hurting as well. But I mean, she's got a very clear drop here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very clear. It's a very clear drop. And um, I mean, Vessery is never going to be there. No, but the seven and the seven and seven sister can just hard one to the right and start coming back around anyway because she either catches. Um, behind a rock behind Sam or she catches him in the side and can start coming back around because Mike has to be careful here because you know do you just do a 4k straight up with um, I mean I don't know if the 4k fits there um, they've got a 5 forward haven't they no they don't so, the fire sprays no the um the defenders ah uh, yeah but i think they okay. do yeah. yeah they do but um do you think archie might uh, switch targets here and go for sam oh for, go for I, uh, Tango. I don't know because he could because he could 
The problem is Vessery's 4K doesn't fit, I don't think, Um, which is a problem. So he could just go for the 5K or just, it's difficult, or just reset Vessery. Um, But Mike's in a situation here where Mike's going to be, he might as well be careful about the bump because you know, if he turns away and there's a five straight, he could bump onto that rock if he's not careful, depending on the maneuver he's set. Mm. But looking at the angle, you know, what happens if he does a one soft? I think he will clip that rock if that's a five straight there. You know, Seven Sister might just try and block him. I don't know if she can block him either. It's difficult. Yeah, I don't think Seven Sisters in a blocking position. She can one hard and boost to come around that rock, which is, I think, is probably the smartest idea because it does allow you again, again, just to sort of reset because you either catch, catch them on the side or you catch her running away. Is, this could be another for... scenario. This could be another scenario where it's dropping a bomb is actually not worth it. Yeah, because Zam can hard in. Yeah, Mike. Mike can do it straight to avoid the rock have a rear shot on everything behind him um, and you can get Django to turn in like into the gap and Vader will do, obviously trade with him but then Vader could die and there's a double potentially a double shot Vader but I don't know it's difficult is there a, is there a good way for Django to be able to get a shot maybe a two forward boost into Vader well, just to get that it, shot depends, it, it depends what Ve- it depends what Vessery and, and Seven Sister does because he could just do a hard one, right? And just so, put his rear up. There's a bomb there, there coming down from Zam. Just one. He's been very conservative yeah. with these bombs so, so far. So, so if he's putting one bomb down there, there's no way Zam's turning in. Sorry, um, Django's turning in. Yeah. So he's probably and, going for a Vader, a Vader shot, maybe at the butt. Yeah, and he's going to go. I, I mean, I would think he's going to go just directly straight. So knowing Mike, I reckon he's got the two hard in, two hard left. No, I wouldn't do that because, well, I wouldn't do that because I think Vader's going to just, Vader knows he's on two hull. He's got to just trade. I, If I was Mike, I'd be doing a four straight. Sorry, with Zam? With Django. Sorry, I meant Zam. Zam oh, does two mean- hard left. Uh, I don't think he does. I think, well, he I, does. Him, <laughs> But he does now. But I mean, I, I just I, know. I, like, I, I know I, him. I just, you just know him. The, the good thing is about that is he, he just shows you what what, what what everybody's just talked about. It's like I don't know how to fly his list. <laughs> yeah, that's a great move. And and because he called it, he called the five straight. He called the one hard boost. Uh, yeah. He's now got a solid range one shot. He probably Dooku's a crit, and hopefully just has to use the focus uh, to get a crit. Into, and, and, there's, uh, Vader, and, there's Va- and there's Vader coming in, as I suspected. Vader's hoping that he's turning in for a bump. And he, Vader's gone, I don't want to be here. And this is where Mike might have... Uh, I don't think Mike turns in because he put the bomb down. Nah, yeah. There's, yeah, there's, no. there's the straight, as I suspected. He probably goes for uh, a boost here and, and does a little hopscotch. To, yeah. yeah, he has to do a boost. It's a range three shot. It's not ideal for him, but... But he's got you the know, bombs to stop the Vader chase as well. Vader can't cut follow him next turn. Nah, not with because then he's coming face to face with Zam as well. Yeah. And and the defender is in a bad place because the defender's on one, you know, defender's like in a really bad place. One from half, yeah. One from half. So Mike's definitely had the control of the game so far, it seems, especially with just. Even with initiative, moving after. Oh, is it? This Vader shot three. That's do you Vader. spend the focus? I don't Probably think not. You, I don't think he does. You could get half Unless into he, an unmodded. He does. No, he's going for it. He wants that last point. He's going for violence. He's going for violence. How does that make you feel, Simon? I took away the camera. Right <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the. I think it's the right choice. Okay, well, it's three dice. He, he could get the crit. There's only a shield, on one shield on Django. Oh, gets gets a crit in. 
shield and a crit. That's that's half points as well on Django. Django never, never makes it whenever I, I see the game. Just never does it. Let's see if you can sneak and damage engine. Oh. Oh, that's a terrible crit for Mike. That's very bad. And he's he's burned out that um that contraband that. as well. So it's a terrible crit. He has to do a one soft next turn. Uh, that's a Zam. Zam's uh Zam's target lock is out there. So just one, and he's fine. Yeah, it's not gonna, happen. not gonna happen. Yeah, see, that's where that the, the the danger of having no passive mods on Django hurts because when you need to get that boost in, you're just throwing nothing. This is the so real shot where, that could swing out. This is this is the Zam shot that really matters. Oh, Oof. so you do coup to crit, so he'll probably change one to a crit. Oh, has he missed his missed the Dooku there? No, no oh yeah, he has. No, because he's he's got the the force flipped, so he probably Dooku to crit and forgot to change it. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna be sad. He didn't remember that that crit. That's two. Could it could have done something more? Ouch. I mean, it's not so bad because now he's in a situation where Vesri just has to turn and just do a shot, but it's not a great thing. I think I think the only thing he's got is a is a K turn. I, I suspect another too hard from from Zam. Um, just really Correct. trying to keep the arc in play on if yeah. the defender turns on around Vader. and keeps yeah. Vader um, a little bit afraid. Yeah, I think Vader turns away because he knows the two hard's coming. Mm -hmm. Django can do a one soft and then not have a damage engine and then do a one soft and be back into a situation where we can actually do something. So where does Seventh Sister go here? Does she just keep on the chase? Does she turn in? Because Zam's still got two, uh, three bombs sitting in the canisters there. Does she just I, drop drop two? I think what Zam, I think Zam drops one because I don't think the second one's going to do anything. Um, I think that the defender who is now well and truly halved. Mm, it's interesting. First three with one and, you know, he forgot that crit. Could have been a direct for all you know. He may not have called the crit. He may have, but I, I can't imagine what else he would have called on that. So I think, yeah, it might have been a bit of a misplay from Mike there. Because, yeah, that, that could have been massive. That could have been a... Um, a weapons failure, a structural, um, yeah. Just imagine if it's a disabled power regulator for the next turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> but I don't think... Uh, it's nowhere near over. I mean, Mike has um, a 29-point lead, if my quick mass is working for me. Oh, um, this, this game is going to go down to the, you know... Who knows what, you know? Yeah, Zam's that's one what, more damage away from half, and then that's got yeah. Arch, Archie in the lead. But see, this is where, I, 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 you know, Miss Triggers is where you pay your penance. I did mention it at the, the, earlier in the game, right? There's so many triggers on Mike's side of the board that it's really easy to just miss them, and you get so excited. You roll, you know, four pictures, and you're over the moon. You forget that you'd actually have guaranteed yourself a crit so it's easy to um make those yeah. sort of mistakes yeah we got a uh, confirmation in the chat that he do could evade earlier uh, oh okay uh, yeah. thank you chat that's why you're here because uh, we're not really there. paying attention yeah we're that's on good. a uh, 
Uh, we're well, on a two-minute no uh, delay as well, so... Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's interesting. Um, but that's a, that's a big thing. I mean, you know, does he even... Does he even bug out with Vessery and not engage Vessery for the rest of the game? No, I, I know. It's. I mean, he could sort of... He, he could do a three hard and then boost in just to be annoying uh... I think that's a difficult move because the three hard with a boost because Django is definitely doing a one soft yeah. double bomb uh, he is dropping two bombs is he yeah well I would have dropped one, but then I've already proven that I don't know how to fly this. But, but if, if Seven Sister is turned in, um, there's a chance he gets both on there. Yeah, true. And uh, of course, yeah, Django dropping a bomb, he, he knows that n neither of his ships are going to eat it, and it just says to Vader, hey, if you're really hungry, you're going to have to eat this first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, this really getting out of there. Not worth it. Yeah. you got two hull left. Um, just... Just... just take, it's take points. Boost. It's, a, it's, you know, it's 40... It's 42 points that you're not giving up. Ooh. Yep. So probably a, a barrel roll focus, right? You don't have to lock. He's he's hovering over the barrel. Yep. Yeah, you don't want to take both of those. Hundred percent. He's out. He's not having any of that. Yeah, we've got a couple. The good thing is, 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 is because of his position, it, I don't think it matters where um, Zam goes. He's going to get a shot onto Zam. The only thing here for Archie that... God, there was a one hard. I would have thought it too, but it probably would have gummed up um, Django. Um, the only thing here for Archie is... A, a good strategy is probably just to feed Seventh Sister in there, and hopefully that allows then Vader and Vessery to do something in return. But at the moment, uh, and we'll see what Vader does, but at the moment it's looking like... Um, it's looking like Seventh Sister will probably be the only one to get any quality shots. Oh, no. no I take that all back. Vader is like, I know I'm going to die, <laughs> but I'm taking someone with me. I I always suspected he was going to um, turn away personally because I knew he was thinking of jamming him in, but, you know, it was obvious that Zam was going to do that. Um, it's not the best position for Zam now um, because that's a good move from Vader to get the rock... Um, defense from Zam shots um, and potentially get out of arc from that one soft which I don't know if he does but... I'm gonna swivel myself and have a look <laughs> uh, no that is out that is there's plum out so he does the boost interesting giving himself a range 3 defense um, but I yeah. think maybe making that oh he can't Gets both of them with that back bomb. That looks like oh Seven Sister God. is eating both. This is huge for for Vessery. Vessery rolls a hit or a crit even, uh, and he's yeah. checking to see if Zam has the range for the crit with Dooku, but she doesn't. Hmm. Okay, this is massive. If that hit on um, Vessery hits, it's only one. And I mean, even if he takes um, a strain here, that doesn't feel good either. He's <laughs> hoping for a blank. Yes! I'm not biased. I'm not biased. I saw the hit and I was like, oh, he's. Because that would have been humongous. That was beautiful. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, I'm going to hope for a blank on this one as well. I'm with you, Simon. There we go. One damage. Wrong way round. Wrong way round. Solid drop on those two the two bombs though. He was right. So he's Vader as well. Copying. This is a. I think these are the first bombs that have actually hit. If that's right. Yeah. So and all three, all three ships copying a bomb in this round. 
That's a Dooku bomb. But, yep. So he's putting yeah, a crit in. That's a crit. This is that's, big. This is that's big. very big. It's a panic. Come on. No. Stun. I Stun think pilot. Karma. I think Karma would be a direct hit here. <laughs> stun pilot. <laughs> no, stun pilot's good. Stun pilot's perfect. Just don't fly badly. <laughs> but this does paint, it does it does it, it does create a problem because you've got two aces now on or two of the ships now on one one hull. Well, an adversary's on two hull, but oh, essentially, um, essentially, yeah, uh, they're not. Oh, sorry, no, sorry, adversary is on one hull. One I hull, keep forgetting yeah. it's four three, not three four. Yeah, and it's Ship like hull. now. I suspect Vader will be fine here, but. Um, it's interesting. So I didn't see who, who he pinged there, but he's rolling three dice, so it would have been Django. He's going for oh, Jango. He's going to hit it. Django, surely. That's three, including one crit. So Django is no mods here. Um, he's not in danger of exploding, but he is in danger of taking a crit. Oh. He's got no mods, so he's probably... You know, unless Mike gets... He hasn't been lucky with his evades, to be fair. Taking a That's hit average. Crit. Hitting a crit. There's the direct. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong shit. Wrong shit. Django making the choice of uh, I didn't ping, but I'm assuming it's Vessery. That's sort of like the only choice there, right? I think you go for Vessery. He's worth, you know. <laughs> Only three dies. Ah, so he does go in on Seventh Sister. Yeah. Knowing that she's shooting back, trying to maybe strip, spends the focus, hoping that he can get two natural hits uh, and use Seven Sisters' ability on the attack. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Seven Vader's on one. I mean, he's got four dice, so I guess it's a good chance he, he lives, the sh survives the shot, but... Yeah. Hit crit. <laughs> She's on one away from half. That's obstructed. Is he shooting? I think he's shooting seven sister. I think okay. he's shooting seven sister. Right. Oh, get oh. gets the half. That's the half. half points. So that's that's one thing that um, Archie's done well is he's not really given. You know, if you put any of these the damage into these ships onto one, that's a dead ship. So, I mean, he's got all the ships at half now, but no dead ship. So there's definitely value in that, right? So that's into Django. Django's got two left. This could oh, this could do it. Probably dies here. No. No, yeah, she has. Seventh Sister has actually had the worst dice of every ship <laughs> today. <laughs> she just has not. Yeah, that's the same roll she had, and then she re-rolled into blanks last turn. Evade. Oh, and he gets the evade. Pure disrespect. Oh dear. Okay. So we've got 18 minutes uh, just ticked over there. Um, so just under 18 minutes left in the game. Um, Zam uh, reveals her card and recovers both charges. She's back at full again. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily love either player's position, um, but Django is going to get a, a death knell shot. So he's definitely not... Um, Oh, Django dies this next turn. Yeah, but it's, it's whether or not he can get a quality shot in on someone. I think... I think Django just goes four straight. Yeah, I think, I think so. Because so. then exactly you, what he does. Maybe you get a shot into Vessery, and then maybe you live. I mean, Vessery's probably doing a four, 4k, right? Just do a four straight. Yeah. If you do a four straight, Seven Sisters moving first... 
unless Seven Sister it predicts it and does a hard left and bow rolls, which I don't think will still block it. Um, or gives you anything other than a block, if that. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other issue you have is because because um, Mike did the one hard, he's really stuck. He can't turn left because he hits the rock. Yeah. So he probably has to do a soft right. And Vader could just get himself in a position where he just allows that to be a bump. And he still gets a shot on Django. Yeah. So we also got a lot of people subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for doing that. If you like what you see, you should also uh, hit a thumbs up My, because that's very important on YouTube. <laughs> I think Mike can do a four straight here with um, with Zam. But I'm not sure if he clips that rock with four straight on the template. I think he does. But I think if he... With Zam. Think... Yeah. The four straight. I mean, it puts you on a rock, the... right? You bump into Vader. Yeah, because Vader is still there. Oh, yes. Vader is, Vader is still there. I got my order wrong. So, yeah. So, his only real move is a soft left. Soft right. And, then a, and right. a boost, yeah. So, soft right yeah. and then a one, one bank right and then just a boost because then you probably catch Vader then in your rear arc. Um, or, or, you just do a, or you do a soft right and stay there. Take a mod for seventh sister yep but i mean you want to sort of kill vader right <laughs> you just you gotta kill vader yeah but vader's gonna predict that so vader is either gonna just take the bump or go for a 4k or something yeah maybe he goes for a 4k difficult because he's got it oh. you know the the thing is is vestry right now vestry's best move is to do a k-turn and just kill Django. Because so, probably 4k then boosted and then has a focus and an evade out there. It's probably just yeah. a, left it out there for last turn. I mean the only other option is Django. Because yeah, because Django's got that weapon that um that the the damage engine is super predictable now. So I think that blocks the four. Did that block the four straight there? Ah, uh, Z, this is for contraband cybernetics. Zam still had the contraband. I don't know if I love that though. That's you've just given Vader your entire right hand side flank. I really don't like that. No, I don't like that at all. Because he should have done done his thing and then contrabanded the turn after. Yep. Yeah, because that would have been a great shot. And then that would have given him a brilliant shot. I don't know. Yeah. This at all. That's this is this is going to because this because this was exactly what we thought would happen. Yeah. And and if had he done the one soft and then boosted, as we predicted, Vader's getting shot. Yeah, he would have caught Vader, absolutely. Yeah. That was what I was looking at was the the one bank boost. Ter basically that's a terrible move, to be honest. Yeah. So this is great. This is this is Archie's turn to really pull it back. You gotta hope Vessery finishes off Django. Um, Django will have a shot into Vader. So yeah, see, this this was always gonna happen because of the, um, the we knew the block was coming. So Django's best opportunity was to either just pray that he's gonna get hit, but he's gonna get shot. Um, so I guess his only real hope is that he gets a kill shot on Vader. Yeah, he's, but he's that's got, dice. He's got, he but he's got no choice. He's yeah. never going to kill. He's never going to kill the defender. So he might as well go for Vader. Ooh, that is a great roll from Vader. And this, there. Is, and this is where Mike pays the penalty for playing a talent role where he didn't need to. Yep. Did so not need focus. to do that. Yeah. Yep. He's yeah. getting two. He's probably getting. A, he's getting a crit in, yeah. which is just That's a, happy that, days. That was that was a major mistake in my. Oh, he's fire oh. control systeming. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so he's got no force. He's having a look around. He's having a think. It could be a big call. I mean, yeah. So he can take. It. He can take. He can take your out. Him. Well, is uh, that's is yeah, that's Sam, is it? 
Yeah. Oh. Well, so, is Sage... Sage... the price? Dooku's an evade. And got the Should have saved it. Yeah. Oh, he's got the focus, but right. Takes takes yeah. one crit, and that's half points. See, this is this is where you've got to calculate Gun your point. points and work out what is your sensible move. And that I don't understand why you wouldn't just do a one yeah, side. That... Move. Mike's still got the lead by one point, but that yeah, was a real in, risky play. I think but he's, was... he's in a really bad place now. Yeah, I think he's thinking. He was thinking maybe Vader would do a fast move, but there was no value. No, in Vader what? Doing there was no move. value in that. There was Ooh. no value in that. So did Django not have arc? Did I miss? Yeah, I did miss that. No, that was, that was way off. I'm not sure if they. I think you may have missed Django. Yeah. yeah. That's evaded. There we go. One. And with the evade, yeah, he knows that doesn't do anything. We'll get another chance. All right, here goes Vessery. Vessery doesn't have crack shot active there. No bullseye. No, but he's got three shots. He shouldn't have a focus out there because uh, he did do a boost. <sighs> Spends the focus that he shouldn't have for three. Right, so doesn't that matter. was doesn't matter now, because we could go in and since we got two captains here, we could go in. And <laughs> yeah, we... good point. <laughs> but no, I think the I think that's resolved itself. Uh, Zam trigger. It was the um, yep. If you shoot me, I'll shoot you back. So. Shooting back into. No, this is. Uh, this is a oh, sorry. two die shot into yeah. Django. <gasps> Spent the force? No? Into Zam. It'll be uh, seven sister into Zam. Ooh, Zam takes the two. That puts her on three hole remaining. This is looking much, much better for Archie. Michael is still in the lead by one point. Yeah, but I... And without killing Vader here, um, he's in a very rough spot. Ooh. That's an evade token Playing there. Set. Yeah, she's got yeah. the evade. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left on the clock, roughly. Uh, eight minutes, uh, eight and just yep. over eight minutes on the table timer. <laughs> I'm going to have to be bold and make a captain's decision, the captain's point here, and I'll say Michael's thrown the game away with that maneuver. Yeah, I think the, the, the town roll hurt him so much. He absolutely threw that game away, just, just from there. If he does the one soft boost, he guarantees that he gets a shot on Vader and he's also in a situation where he's still got a chance to run away, doesn't lose the ship, still on four points. And let's not forget, he had a target lock on Vader as well. So that's, Correct. that's Correct. a guaranteed crit probably um, into, or sorry, a solid chance of a crit into Vader or even just a damage. Yeah. He's on one health, it doesn't matter. Yeah, um, this is a real chance of killing Vader there. You trade Django for Vader because uh, Vader takes a shot into Django and probably kills him. Um, and then you're running away happy days with a, at that point, I think, was still um, a not halved Zam. Yeah. But Vader could also uh, initiative kill Sam with a little bit of luck. 
Yeah, he can. He can now. I, he wouldn't have had the shot if he no. won bank he boosted. He wouldn't have, if he won bank boost, he would have had no shot. Hmm. But we'll. Um, I think this is definitely now. Um, the the momentum has turned to, to Archie, and I think Archie. Oh no! The game. The game. Pull this I, away. I think. I think if Michael wins this game, he 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 literally needs to uh, buy a lottery ticket because he can't possibly win from here. I, I think it would be almost impossible from this point. How do you say <laughs> you can't save Zam? Right, Zam. Zam's dying. Zam's dead. Django's not going to live for much longer. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it was a terrible talent roll. It absolutely terrible. Um, the, you know, you have got to stop and think about your points. And Michael's obviously not done that. And that's the problem. You've got one hard. See, the, the problem is, is now you're in a situation where you need every bit of variance to go your way. Yeah, he's that's the thing, right? He's put it totally in the dice's hands here. The, the, the dice are the only things that can save him. Zam is not getting a shot. But he, um, need, he needs variance on both sides. He needs to get all the variance his way. Yeah. And he needs to make sure that literally Archibald can't roll anything but blanks. And with force points and stuff, it's not going to happen. His and is Jenkins going to take anyone with him? And, and, and the terrible thing is he played such a great game up until that point. And then what he did is he literally just unfortunately you have to be honest when you when you're playing at this level he threw the game away yeah i don't see any maneuver <laughs> where zam can go and either not get blocked by seven sister um or get out of the one straight from beta oh well, believe me actor i've seen some weird stuff happening in the last two minutes of few games so i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna take this victory until uh, time time is up oh no no i i'm there i'm 100 there with you you're gonna see it happen yeah i can hear this the swedish national anthem playing in the background so <laughs> no that's my kid crying so <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Flipster is asking in the chat what the score is so far between Sweden and Australia. It is 3-3, three, three, three. will be. 3-2 three, at the moment. So, it uh, will be 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes the game that is um, streaming in one and a half hours all the more important on the Sydney City Space Slugs Twitch channel. Indeed. And have a look in the show notes. There is a link to the Sydney City Space Slugs uh, Twitch channel. It will be myself uh, and a fellow slug, Jim, hosting the commentary for that wonderful game. And in fact, uh, Tom Harper, who is also a fellow slug, will be playing in it. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have, I think it's Eric? No, Andreas. No, Andreas. Andreas. It's Andreas Colson, yes. Yes. So hard. it's pretty much auto auto maneuvers in here, right? Vessary, four forward, um, maybe a one bank or a one forward uh, from from Vader. A I can't bank. believe I can't believe the maneuver before. I'm just sorry, I'm still shocked <laughs> by that by that talent. I'm just absolutely shocked. I'm guessing there'll be a bit of a locker room talk, uh, maybe a few bruises uh, on Michael <laughs> after this game, actor. Yeah, let's just say that your suggestion before about a sack full of. Um, you know, door handles might be used. You know, there might be a reenaction of a uh, full metal jacket. <laughs> I wish to, I wish to be a fly on the wall for that. All right, the, the boys the boys look like they're they're all set. Um, got some bombs dropping. Uh, I mean, Zam, I'd, Zam's on three. I I drop everything I've got because I'm not going to be alive next turn. Yeah, but I mean, you're you're opening up Zam for proper pain there you're really hoping to catch vader with that and take vader out before he can take out um zam does uh, zam didn't drop one she nope. had one left in the tank didn't she yeah she had one left in the yeah. tank i'm surprised he didn't do that this is classic archie move taking it easy 
not doing a three and i mean but he's he's uh not yeah he did a three <laughs> otherwise it would be classic uh, archie to maybe do a two just to try to catch the opponent off guard i mean Django's doing a four straight right Oh, Zam, Zam punched in the one bank. Uh, I don't know if a boost fits. Uh, but that straight boost definitely doesn't fit. He's going to go for it. Oh, it fits. So Vader, that one bank, um, will be will be pretty happy. At, oh, he might actually get a shot, but there's a 4K. Oh, that's no. a dead, dead Vader. No. Oh, no. So I mean, I'm guessing um, we'll have to start the talks again. Uh, the locker room, a <laughs> few bruises maybe <laughs> for, for Hachi after this one. Vestry, I think, has the crack shot set up. So he's going to get a good shot into to Zam, but Zam has taken Vader out before that happens. Yeah. Is that Vader's lock or is it... Uh, it's it is seven Zam's lock. Uh, I mean, he's, it's seven, he's... seven Sisters lock. Uh, so that uh, oh, yeah. Vesery gets Oh, the... and Dooku's a crit. Yeah. yeah. Dead Vader. Thank you, Vader. Vader did his job, though. And a strain. Oh, oh, sorry, I thought that was a roll. Oh, a strain on Zam. Yes. <laughs> Still a chance. Um... There's no mods on the table now. If Sam, Sam goes down, that's 51 points. And that's time. Yeah, this this Zam, Zam has to not, not Zam has die. to not die or kill. Um, I mean, you shoot seventh sister, right? She's actually got less mo oh, she, she does have more health. Oh, you shoot. You, you she's got two health. I think you shoot because um, she's got the, the Vey token, right? Yeah. So you have to shoot Vesery. But I mean, you've got four dice into three, and she's got oh, uh, true. only and a four cent of Vade. And if you kill her, that. It's four dice, too. And it's four dice. That puts you above the um, the dead, dead, dead Zam. It's going um, for the. Swing. It's going for Vesery. I think that's that's not the right call, but that's not optimal. Oop. Yeah, one one damage. That's it. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered anyway with four dice. He has. To, he doesn't matter what he rolls here, does it? No, he's got an evade. He's got loads of evade. Yeah. So here's the thing: Zam does have another shot back. So it's not even if Zam dies. If she could somehow make the most incredible full dice into blank dice shot back into uh, Vessery. See, that's. I, I see what Mike's doing there. I think Mike, what he was doing is trying to strip a token. Yeah. There we go. Spence the target lock. Eh? No? Mm -hmm. Trying to get the crits. Ooh! Gets it. Gets it. That's dead Zam. Oh my god. And Michael pays the price <gasps> for a terrible power roll. So that's a shot back. vessery has got one. Yeah. Now he has to, now one. he has to literally pray that he has to literally pray that he gets perfect dice here. Oh he's one so far. That's two. Oh, it can do it, but it needs... needs blank dice. So I think he needs three, three, three blanks, right? Or actually, just uh, mm -hmm. zero evades. Zero, zero evades oh. will do it. He gets it. <sighs> well done to Archie. That uh, that very unfortunate four K still left him in a good enough spot. Um, I'm, I'm shaking. To... <laughs> <laughs> So this is the, the game is still on, actor. We're coming for you. <laughs> it's still on. I, I I feel bad because I don't think that 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 I think we played a brilliant game here up until the talent. Yeah. 
I really do think that was that was a terrible move. And unfortunately, that's, you know, we nearly got lucky, nearly diced our way out of jail. Um, but Django didn't have enough, you know, um, Zam had three hull and he got hit by three and he didn't roll any evades. No. You know, with the strain, with the strain on him, you know, he, he had to do through the, the damage into him. And yeah, yeah he got, he got super unlucky with the, um, with that thing and he nearly got away with it nearly 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 got away with it the dice taketh and the dice giveth yeah but the, the problem is is you in this game if you allow yourself to basically win on a dice roll if you can avoid that you must try and avoid that because x-wing will always burn you how many games i have clutched defeat from the jaws of victory so many times <laughs> by doing something stupid with the dice right mm -hmm. and allowing myself to be in a position where i you know where i put um myself in a position where i i just shouldn't and think of the long term and it happens and you know if you do that you 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 will often pay the price for it and you know great it's a great thing you know you can't blame archibald did exactly what he should have done got the trap got in there put him in put the k turn in mike you know mike um mike got himself into a real bad spot then he got lucky with some shots and and then he got unfortunately he got hit with a strain and you know it's three versus one and and vessery rolled three hits mm -hmm. you know so you know you pay the price as i say you pay the price for for if you put yourself in the dice gods you know you better hope that you've been a good boy all year otherwise <laughs> you know, otherwise otherwise they'll remember <laughs> oh anyway thank you so much for joining me today both cam and actor it's been a pleasure yeah. having you on uh, and yeah, don't forget always. to uh, watch the last and final game for the the sweden australia matchup on uh, sydney city space lugs later on yes please do please do everyone please that is it was going live in one hour and 15 minutes so please uh join us on twitch for that uh thanks simon for having both myself and suresh on uh it was a lot of fun actually i, I enjoyed um commentating where i didn't also have to manage the stream yeah. so <laughs> anytime i'm happy that i can talk for hours it's talking while also yeah. fiddling with things that makes it difficult yeah i, I know <laughs> 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 anyway well thank you everyone who's been watching and uh, hit the thumbs up give the video a comment i will be uh, cutting these two games apart and uh, and post them later on so that it will be easier to access thank you actor Good. again and um fly no, casual no, no worries yeah no worries close close game thanks guys thanks thanks guys bye bye, bye. bye. bye.